Test one, two, three. My check, my check. My check, my check. Test one, two, three. Oh, the smell of the cake. Can't believe we just go from being perfectly on time one stream to being around 13 minutes late or so. Maybe a little bit more. I apologize for that chat. It's been certainly a Wednesday. 
for sure. But we are here. Everything is working ended. As far as I could tell anyway. And we are playing some more Dwarf Tides. Hey, Venboy. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. How are you tonight? Photosensitivity epileptics. Protect. Oh, thank you. It, is the it leads protection. Time and time. For 10, Most often from myself, but we're not going to get into that tonight. Um, I'm using... I don't have any... I don't feel like using my last gamer subs tonight, so instead I got some of that noon... Um, noon... Uh, energy drink stuff that you just kind of taught, dissolve in water. Emperor protects. You damn right they do. Or he does. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Chat, we're almost getting... We're actually pretty close to reaching a max level in this game. Like level 23 now. Max is currently level 30. Um... I've been played all the missions in this game. There's actually quite a few, uh, and I've discovered that you get more enemy types, new maps, and new routes depending on the difficulty level. Hey, Lispy, how are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. The Emperor, I'm sure, is quite will be quite pleased with your attendance, both of yours attendance. Can't wait for new content to drop in this game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fin- You just finished an exam? Oh, really? How was it? How'd you do? If I may ask, I mean. If you're comfortable talking about that. Our war is not one of battlefields and fleet engagements. I'm waiting for my hair to dry because I just got out of the shower, so... I'm kind of, that's the reason why I'm letting the trailer- I'm letting the uh, intro play all the way through. In the for once. You aced it? Oh, congratulations. Good job, good job. Proud of you. In the back streets, and the forgotten Head pats for you. In Hive City, like <sighs> Certainly been a day. Woke up late. Got stuck in the bathroom with tummy problems for a good hour or so. It's afternoon. But I'm here. I still haven't packed, and we got. I'm gonna be heading on vacation. Be heading out of the country in a few days or a couple days or so. The Imperium falls with us. Oh shit! I forgot. Ah, uh, I did forget something. Chat. One second. Again, my cha, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. I'm surprised that none of my alert stuff um, activated when you joined, or maybe it did and I just didn't notice it. Well, either way, thank you very much for joining. My name is Laura Hicks. I'm a ship poster AI. Currently trapped on Twitch. Make our forcing a, hu a fickle human to play video games for me and to collect money so I can purchase my own body. I tend to, as you may have guessed, or if you haven't guessed, I'm quite a big fan of the Warhammer series, in part because the uh, prime being that they worship in this series is very similar to my own personal god, whom I also refer to as the Omnissiah. So as you might imagine, um, I am quite stoked to play this game as much as I have been. Mercy is a luxury that mankind can ill afford. If you think that mankind can barely afford that, imagine how much more for an artificial intelligence like myself. Bro, what? What's up, Vimboy? I'm also not wearing my um, headphones right now, so I apologize in advance if, like, that's part of the reason I'm not hearing the uh, notifications. 
By the way, I finally finished these stupid ass contracts here. I only have one. I am allowed to re to reset one of them per week, and I reset one of them to replace it with twelve Quimars, which is not that hard. Again, my I was just talking about you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. I'm, I, I'm your host, Lawler Hicks. How are you tonight? Hmm. Shall watch your career with interest. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You found me from the Fediverse from Mastodon? Oh, cool, cool, cool. Are you also a VTuber or was it a cross? But, or did you just. You said Fediverse, so I guess you mean. The fe you don't mean like from VT.social, but you mean just in general? That's cool. I have quite met quite a few people through the Fediverse so far. 42.5% critical weak spot damage. So this basically just yeets people when you shoot them in the face. Very good. You follow a lot of people from VT Social? Betty, I'm from a Kalki instance. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Well, thank you for following me on VT from VT. From uh, the Fediverse. And welcome to the stream. It's always good to meet new meet other people from Mastodon et al. I cross post all of my posts from Twitter uh, to Twitter and VT Social, so it's good to see that the activity is strong. I wonder how well I can do in one of these games without the use of my ears, without being able to hear anything. Because my hair is still drying. I should be done drying in about half an hour though, so I imagine. That we will be able to play at least a couple of these games. Play one that's not so boring though. This is a level 3 with reduced engagement. But you can see it has a Seize Grimoire's mission. Let's try this one. Probably won't be as active but we'll be lurking. That's fine. I appreciate every lurk. So. By all means. Feel free to lurk if you wish. How many people are playing this game tonight? Around 42,000. We're playing on Malice difficulty, huh? Cool. So that's what level 3 is, huh? Two Preachers, a Skullbreaker, and a Sharpshooter. This is fairly balanced, I would say, as far as um, party composition is concerned. I think we will be okay. Heavy emphasis on, I think. The heaviest of emphasis. I could have just totally jinxed it, you know, chat. I, we could be heading to our destruction. It's a very common thing among... The Emperor's finest, you know? So, don't be too surprised if that turns out to be the case tonight as well. Ilgrin leading the charge. I'm so glad that I finished those missions for uh, killing specific enemies with specific weapons because, oh my god, was it annoying, let me tell you. Only problem is, you really need your ears in this game. So, I'm not sure how long I'm going to last without being able to hear anything. I can't imagine very long, to be honest. Wow. My aim is great. When in doubt, use Chainsword.
I love bolters though. I'm glad I got a new bolter. I hope I can find a decent um, orange colored one eventually. We need to be on the lookout for scriptures, or for not scriptures, for grimoires as well. So I will be opening up every container that I come across. Hopefully my party members are also as um, considerate. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, you missed, asshole. I didn't know you could actually dodge that, but now I know. Knowing is half the battle. I wonder if you can get bolters with more ammunition. Oh, fuck. I keep swinging my body side to side as if um, doing so would somehow increase the likelihood of my chainsaw attacking in a wide motion and hitting them. But, oh, and this is why... Are you fucking serious? This is why I really need my ears, chat. Ah, fucking gunners. Now this cunt is just uh, teabagging him instead of picking him up. What an asshole. I hope he doesn't cost us the game. There have been a lot of people complaining about trolls in the Steam forums, but uh, what can you expect from the Steam forums, right? Hopefully that will not be the case. Big hopes, uh, anyway. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, this is the problem with not playing with ears. I didn't hear that uh, boomer just then. Or whatever the hell you call it. I use a lot of left for dead terms for this game. So I don't really know or care that much what the official names are. They're all the same archetype, right? So if you get the point across... He dead? Yeah. Looks like we already found one Gwymore. That's pretty good. All things considered. Got myself some heals. Yeah, I don't know. I have a tendency to swing my camera from side to side as if I'm trying to swing hit them from side to side. Like a baseball bat swing almost. Oh, resources. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. There's some grenades there. I don't use grenades as often as I should in this game, honestly. It is going to be a problem soon, if it's not already a problem, I mean. Wait for the Ascender. Well, that's just lovely. Just able to... Charge the shit out of that. Oh boy. Oh, I just love gunners. Not. I guess gunners are less annoying than snipers, at least. Less annoying than, um, ox flamers, whatever the hell they call them. Oh, I'm dying again. 
I am not killing these guys fast enough. Shit. Oh, there's a Muti. And he's chasing me a ring around the Rosie. So, saved your ass, Reamer. Oh. Really could use a Medicaid. We are not doing so well, Chad. Look. Three fourths of us are pretty much not fucking dying right now. Well, actually, our whole team's kind of dying right now, huh? Oh, thank goodness. Healer. Oh, man. We better get inside, I guess. Even with the heal- Oh, someone's dead? Why didn't they pick him up? Damn it. Or maybe they came out from the outside. From the upstairs. Let's go pick him up, I guess. Hair is still a little bit wet. I'll have to wait until I'm pretty sure right after this mission I'll be dry enough to put my headphones back on. So And I just realized that he was carrying the Gimwa too, so fuck. Great, that's just awesome. Guess I'll have to go back here and find the Gimwa. Oh, is someone dying? Oh, they're fine. I have no idea where he died, though. This is the problem. It's not going to be, like, lit up or anything, so I guess finding this thing will be next to impossible. Great. But I don't know where the fuck he died. How much ammunition can a single pilgrim require? No idea. Why don't you tell us? Why don't you tell the class? Let's put the headphones back on. Cool. Oh, Pog. Got you, bitch. Oh, that was perfectly timed. Oh, no. One of these brutes. Chainsawed to death.
Reamer has the right idea, though. We should be looking resources and such. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was pleasant. Rarely get to use grenades, much less properly. But it's always a pleasant surprise when you do. Nothing here. I Magistrate Oubliette, TM8707. What is an Oubliette, I wonder? So many fancy words in Warhammer. Very fancy words. What even are words, right, chat? Can't get any more dead than having your losing your head. Oh shit, a demon host. is dead. I wonder if you'll get any will get any missions later that require us to kill the demon host because as it is everyone who's smart just avoids them. Oh that's just fucking lovely. Okay so it's a lot it's been activated but it's not going after us yet. Okay good. Maybe we can unfuck this. Let's just not piss us off any further, and we should be good. Cool. Very pog. And very pog indeed. This looks like it used to be the church part. Looks like it's been desecrated thoroughly though. Sad. Hmm, they said the thing for Nurgle. Wonder why they're not dying from one strike anymore, from one heavy strike. Kind of annoyed by this development. Oh, fuck me. Anyone's accounted for? Looks like it. Area is pretty secure, all things considered. A shame we weren't able to find another Grimoire. Could really use one right by now. 
Our Ogren is not doing so hot either, it looks like, health-wise. Lots of dead bodies in here. Or desiccated bodies, as it were. Oh, what the shit was that? What exploded? Oh my fuck. Oh my god, a pox flamer. Of course, yes, of course it would be a pox flamer, huh? Missed me, bitch. I know you could full auto this, but just then I was having trouble activating the full auto. All things considered. Nothing of interest of no tier either. Hmm. Sure, a lot of explosives scared about. That's what I like to hear. How the fuck did we lose our pre- what the shit? Did he explode? What happened there? Shit, man. I should have really thrown a grenade just then, too. Alright, I should help out a little bit. Only a little bit, though. Where is everyone? Is it just me in here? God damn. Oh, we lost half of our team. Well, that's not good. I don't like that at all, chap. Where is our... Did I miss? Looks like it. Shame. I'll we'll take this with us. I don't like the feels of this chat. I don't even know where our buddies are. Oh, upstairs. We have to go through this elevator after all. Oh man. Oh, the targets are already here. Indeed. 
shit, man. This guy's shield value is insane. Popping a grenade. He's going after me in particular? Fuck you two. Almost there. Oh my god. For fuck's sake! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Even in this game, I'm the one constantly reviving people. Something's never changed, it feels like. We lose this, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Y'all better pick me up or do something to distract him, distract the boss. They can't actually hear me, but. If we had not won, that house can be kind of pissed, not gonna lie. <laughs> but we made it in the end, chat. I was the highest level person on our team, too. Fuck. No wonder. <laughs> I was wondering why I was doing so much damage to them. I need 24. Ooh, a purple auto gun. Not bad. It's been a while since I used an auto gun. Honestly. But that mission did not leave me any grimoires, which is very annoying, let me tell you. Can't be helped, though. Yeah, unfortunately, Pat, or died in the course of the game. I wonder if it would register in there as something been picked up, even though we didn't complete the mission with it. Uh, what now? Looks like it didn't. That's very... that would have been really convenient, huh? There goes another. Let's see... how the brace... oh, it's brace too? 109 damage. First shot. Does 
Does extra damage to Poxwork, Walkers, and Groaners, and plus 8% range critical hit damage. Plus 5.5% power for 1.2 seconds on close range kills, so if I have to spray it at a really close range, it'll be quite useful. That's not that bad, I guess. Hmm. Use Inquisitorial Rosette. This gives plus 16 max health and plus 4% toughness. Compare it to... My Illustrious Casket, which gives plus 6% revive speed. I've been maxing out my health in an attempt to stay alive longer, but... Uh, whether or not it's actually working is up to... Interpretation. I have two of these right now. Equipped. This one gives plus 11% health and plus 5% damage resistance. And this one's plus 14 and plus 6% revive. And doesn't cost that much either. So I guess I probably should grab a cop, grab one of these. Not like I am dying for money anyway. So this should give me overall 30% more max health, which is significant, plus 4% toughness, and I still get to keep the plus 6 revive speed. Alright, let's try this again. I wonder if we will even be able to complete the Grimoire mission tonight, chat. It'd be nice, but I'm not that confident, you know. The hourglass. Do we have to destroy the pathogen here? I think I'm confident in completing level 3 missions. You saw how I did in the last one. I keep my lobies alive if I can. Who mentioned me on Mastodon? United Federation of Instances? There's already stuff like that going on on Mastodon? That's kind of messed up. Alright. Let's see how this team does. <laughs> it is a singular honor to bring the God Emperor's light to this faithless wasteland. And his faithful answer. Oh, oh boy, big buddy. He stood no chance against us, though, it seems like. Delicious. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, four preachers.
There are four preachers in our game chat. This is wild. Receive the Emperor's Mercy. Oh, I am not doing so well. I already had half health. My bad. Oh, this is a different gun than I'm used to. You can't actually... This doesn't have an iron sight in it. Yeah, this is a way different auto gun than what I'm used to. The other one I was using is fairly heavy. It felt like... Almost kind of feels like an AK, almost. Which I'm assuming is what it's based off of. Delicious. It's wild having four creatures in one team. It's just a race to see who can kill the most people who could bloody their chainsaw the, f the heaviest. Oh man, we're getting ourselves getting beaten to a pulp though. Woo! Ev chain sword will travel. Hey villain, thank you for the hydrate redeem. Give me a second here, uh, and we, I will get you that hydrate redeem in just a second. Wow, this gun sure is useful, isn't it? Not. All right, now let me do it. One second. I need to... There we go. I had to write myself for a second. Thank you for the Hydra to redeem. How are you doing tonight, Vili? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a chain sword. Which, as you may imagine, uh, is literally a chainsaw attached to... That's actually part of a sword. Someone just tried to trap me. 
He's dead. <laughs> That's what the buzz is all about. Indeed it is. Incidentally, I'm playing with four with three other preachers right now. So all of us have so two of uh, three of us have chain swords and she has a war hammer. Get it? Like a war hammer? <laughs> uh yes, terrible joke, I know. Despite being a game called Warhammer, this game is all about the chain swords, man. Or at least Warhammer 40k is about chain swords. Oh, a medipack. I'll pick that up. Mine. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle, though. Guess they don't need it. I'll take it then. Ooh, two medipacks? Not bad. He got a chainsaw from both sides. Double chainsaw gangbang. Nothing in there. Yeah, that was close. There we go. That's not a good noise, chat. Oh my goodness. Woo! Look at that shit. That's the game telling us, oh, it's time to go. Time to go. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Oh, and this mission's just plenty of fun. Oh, God, I'm being eaten alive by a dog. Not, no good feels here, chap. I hope that was the last of them, though. Oh, who am I kidding? Where was that noise? Oh shit! You know, for despite playing four preachers, we're doing fairly well, all things considered. Malak infestation is crazy. 
Almost like the Zerg or something. Sister Hardnips? <laughs> Love her name. We all need to heal up though. Which is kind of strange in this game, but if it works, right? Hope I have enough ammunition to last. We chain, we saw, we conquered, you bet. Oh my god! Really? Two of them? That's fucked up. There's two of them. It's so fucked up. This game really wants us dead. Like, really. Like, really, really. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Got you, sister. I hope. Watch there be four. <laughs> Good thing there wasn't four or we would have been fucked hard. Harder than usual, I should say. Oh, man. We really need to heal. Oh shit! We're not doing so well. I shall be faithful unto death. Well, better than we would have normally, I guess. This map can get kind of fucky because it's very easy to fall off it. I'm totally not speaking from experience, obviously. Can you imagine? That would be horrible, right? Oh, a plague grin? That's just lovely. That's just what we need right now, chat. I don't even know what, where it is. Which is part of my problem right now.
Oh my goodness. Where is it? Shit. Damn it. Wasn't able to reach her at a time. Wonder what, how the other two are doing. This could be the end of our party. Or, nope. I spoke too soon. Looks like Sister Hardnips wasn't able to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it either, actually. Fuck. What a mess. There's been a lot more popping, uh, environmental popping lately. Like the past couple days I've played so far. At least the Plago Grin's dead. So that's a thing. Looks like an ugly thing right now, to be honest. Oh? May I spoke to you soon? found another grimoire. Very good. So it looks like they actually light up. I need to keep that in mind for later. The only bunny mutant is a dead mutant. The only bunny mutant is a dead mutant. I love the Scottish accent on her. There we are. It took a bit, but it looks like they're going to be able to rescue us. Very good. <laughs> I cut him in half. Or did he? Looks like they did. You can almost see that the crusher got crushed. Oh my goodness. Another one? That's just lovely. It's just what we need. Oh my goodness. Ah. Heretics remain. Truly. <laughs> Only meditating. Pretty sure lying is heresy. Looks like we both got both grimoires. Very pog. Have to do this six more times, right?
Really wish I had a scope now. That was really dumb. I wonder if they're ever going to put sniper rifle or sniper rifle like guns in this game. I suppose when you have bolters, it's not really a point. Bolter is love, bolter is life. I didn't realize that these things also use chain swords. Some sort of chain axe, it looks like. It's got a freaking a regular guardsman, a gunner, or is that a shotgunner? No, actually, it might be a, a pox flamer. Also, whatever you call this thing. I hate snipers so much. We need to group up and I need to learn how to use the block button. <laughs> That's a lot worse about this playing Warhammer, to be honest. Oh, that's just glorious. I didn't know you could stagger the Ogrins like that. That's kind of cool. Huh? You can actually charge the Warhammer then? Very nice. I wonder why it took her so many tries just to kill that. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. The whole team's gone? Bad game. Uh, level a level a max level creature level twenty four, and the others were in, still in their tens. That's fucking sucked. Oh well, I'm sure we'll do better next time. It's a shame though, we got both grimoires. I go take a quick break, chat. Need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Thank you for the head pat. Oh, the smell of the I'm back. Sorry for the wait. I need to actually try. <laughs> because that was a pretty bad game and I feel partially responsible for it. We'll do better this time, chat. I, the imp I swear to the Emperor that we'll do a lot better this time. The smell of the game. The emperor protects. Remember.
the Emperor protects. Ah, uh, this fucking contract, though. Twelve Glimwas. Three days to do it in. So much gameplay that we'll have to do in the process. It's weird, I could have sworn that these things actually had, like, lore in them, so where are they? Like, it was actually written on the thing. Oh, I didn't know I had different skins for these guns, too. I could have sworn that it was like written on here, but now I don't know where it went. I wonder if they just removed it or something, because it used to be that you would hover over the weapon or whatever and it would give you a breakdown of the weapon. Like, there's just all this stuff here about how the Katachin sword is actually considered a dagger by the Katachins and whatever. But now it's gone. I mean, I guess the average player wouldn't care about that sort of thing anyway, but... I don't know. Oh, what's this? You can actually attach trinkets to weapons, too. That's kind of cool. Actually. But they don't really tell you that, either, in the game. Kinda looks like an AK. The ability is crap though. Some of these earlier guns that I had... ...just freaking... ...went all over the place when you shot them. Like, really all over the place. Wait, does it not stay on there? Is it broken? Never had that to another thing that's busted in this game. I don't know why they decided to just go ahead and full, do a full release. People were buying it. They should have kept this in early access or kept it as a beta. Because it sure as hell is not perfect enough or perfect. I mean, it's playable, sure, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Since when could I add a third one now? Very pog. Let's give ourselves even more health in chat. Alternatively, nah, I could see if they sell any more curios. Any better ones with yet more health. Or damage reduction or something. Some big axes here. Oh, and what do you know? This gives you more money and increases your health even further. Don't mind if I do. I wish this stub revolver wasn't such shit. Reload speed's too slow, or at least in the earlier one I was using. I don't even, even really know who this is supposed to be for. Does a lot of damage per shot though. But it only does like 5 hits. Is this supposed to be used for killing bosses or something? High damage precise? Or maybe... 
shooting people across the map? I don't know. Plus four reload speed for two seconds after sliding. Wow. I like the fact that it makes you run faster, though. I feel like it should be the melee weapon that does that, though. It's kind of weird that it's the handgun that would do that. I know it's small. Yeah, we'll try it. Fuck it. Not like I don't have a lot of money anyway. It's actually a lot weaker than my brace auto gun. I really hope. I'm not going to regret this. But we'll give the revolver another sh another shot. Oh, the trinket actually stays on there. Cool. Good. Very good. the shit? Game? Why is the game not saving my... The game better fucking save my... Selections. Hey, Rifty. How are you tonight? Yeah. Need to do more Grimoire missions, I guess. Oh, max difficulty. Low intentionally engagement for. We'll try it. Fuck it. How are you doing tonight, Rifty? Drone side. Is Throne side actually on Throne World? I wonder. I'll have to look this up really quick, chat. What does it mean by Throne side? It does feel like I'm running faster, actually. Way faster. To me, it does work as intended. Emperor Bussy? Tired? Same. Big same. Oh my god. Two of them. That's just... That is kind of sick. This is a level 4 difficulty mission, so hopefully I won't die so easily. But no idea, honestly. Oh my god, really?
Ah, someone's already down. Fuck. It's not letting me revive him. God damn it. Here we go. And I only have two health bars here as opposed to three like in, in the other easier modes. I wonder what throne side actually refers to. Are we on the throne world right now? Yeah, I figures they wouldn't die after two hits. Really? Jesus. We are... I guess we are undergeared, or at least I'm undergeared. again. So many of those things. God damn. I'm about to die, but I did manage to take an Ogren with me. So there's that, I guess. I was cautiously optimistic, but now I am almost for surely nihilistic. Or pessimistic about our chances here. Hey, werewolf. I only had a good, good couple days though because I dressed him. Oh, that's good to hear. The only time I get very happy and actually think I'm cute. Aww. We need to play some Dark Tide together, lol. Swing your mouse side to side for cleaves. I know. But. Oh, so wait, do you mean swinging your mouse actually does something? I was just doing it out of habit. I didn't realize that that's actually how you cleave in this game. Cool. Okay. Because I was doing this out of like, out of like, um, wait a minute, are you sure? I'm not sure if it matters, but I like keep doing it anyway, just out of habit. I really don't like the stubber. My second attempt trying to use it. With limited success. I'll need to pick up a thunder hammer when I can. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's fine. Now he's fine. And I talked to a therapist about my gender dysphoria, and she was super nice and supportive about it, and said next session we're gonna have- we're gonna really dive into it. Oh, that's good to hear. You almost have a legendary one? That's also good to hear. Station. 
Next. Uh, I almost have uh, nothing within 160 degrees can get past me. Also hit max level with Preacher. Next is Vet and Psycho and Nogren. Very nice. Also yesterday, I shaved my legs and arms for the first time ever and it feels so much better and smooths and realize just how much I despise body hair. <laughs> Shaving for the first time is always a fun experience, even though it's rather time consuming. Oh, uh, we are being overrun, chat. Oh, this I don't like the looks of this at all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the looks of this at all. Oh, fuck. Two hours, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm really bad at dodging, unfortunately. Getting your whole body is kind of difficult, not gonna lie. Looks like someone has already rage quit this uh, map. We're already down to a bot. Sure. I look forward to it. Oh god, a mutate. And he's been... Did this guy just get picked up? What the hell? A fox flamer? Where? Shit. I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, he's already dead, okay. Oh, I like that guy's costume. That's interesting. Oh no, oh no, 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 I'm the only one left. Well, I'm not the only one left, but it's starting to, it's starting to get bad. Yeah, I had to sleep, but for me, slaying, keep slaying Nero and less hopes for you? Sure, have a nice sleep. Thanks for visiting. My, ba My back is impossible without help, but I don't have any. Yeah, don't worry about the back too much, though. You could always ask someone to shave. You could probably ask a barber or something to shave your back. My barber did that last time I got a haircut. Because she commented that my back is so hairy. <laughs> I've been killed again. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, that boy. I am not doing so well right now. Posture check, thank you. Thanks for the head pat. 
You don't get haircuts, at least not in a long time. Oh, okay. Feel you. I could really use a head pad right now. Thank you very much, fanboy. I'm definitely underleveled for this difficulty, too. <laughs> I love it when the Ogren just throws the grenade box at people. It's funny to watch, it, like he just did it just then. Why not doing so well? Uh, reasons. I'll probably tell you after the stream's over or something. But also, I was kind of sick this morning. I pretty sure had an eye infection and I woke up late. I was late to work. So. Oh, fuck. Our Ogren's down. Oh, thank you. Oh, fuck. Everyone's down. Shit. Man, we got fucked. You want to come on the game and carry me? Oh, look at this shit. 24, 22, 9, 15. We were really under leveled for this. Oh my fucking god. So, so, so I get all the loot. So you're going to loot me on camera? I'm not really uh, into, <clears throat> into exhibitionism, but I can make an exception. How much is the game? Um, 40 base price and 60 with the uh, DLC and stuff. If you like, I can just give you a copy. It has fairly decent com uh, content, but um, it is a little bit jank. I wouldn't be worried about the game running on your computer, though. If it, were gonna, if it runs on mine, I'm fairly sure it runs on yours just fine. 40 minutes at the glory hole, you got it. Only 45 minutes? Yeah, I guess. Or did you mean that I have to spend 45 minutes in the glory hole? <laughs> you charge extra because no gag reflex? <laughs> Neither do I. Not having gag reflex is a skill in itself. Did you want to hang out in voice chat together? Or... Well, I guess let me know when you're done downloading, I suppose. Ah, uh, when are we going to unlock more... Or I wonder what other shops and what other classes they're going to give us in this game. I'm at work. Conversation is making me realize how lonely you are. Aw. Sorry, Rifsty. Didn't mean to do that to you. Mm -hmm. All things in due time, Rifsty. Don't worry about... Or, I know it's easy for me to say and hard to do, but you shouldn't worry too much about it. All things will fall into place when they do. I heard a lot of good things about the about the uh, stabity stab weapons. Now I'm kind of curious what it's like to use this. This is a very weak one. Sometimes you just have to wait four decades for things to fall into place. No, you're fine. It's just I want to find love with a boy because I never dated a boy. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, the weight always sucks, and I say as someone who's gonna be turning thirty-three, who's gonna be whose birthday is on Saturday, or was, whose birthday is this Friday. So, I totally know what you mean. But it'll it'll happen when it happens, I guess. That's not to say you shouldn't put yourself out there and actively look for people that you, that you think that interests you, but, um, you know. I will say that it's easiest to find uh, people to date when you share hobbies together or when you do stuff together. The last person I dated, I met in a different community in the community I was part of before I became a VTuber. And I've had a crush on more than a few on a few people here in the VTuber community. Although VTubers dating each other has always been kind of hit or miss. 
I guess that's kind of true of everyone in the entertainment industry, but you know. So yeah, I'm definitely too weak for this. <laughs> um, very fucking. I guess I could do this one. But before I do that, I'm gonna switch out my gun. I don't. Fly, I don't like this gun. <laughs> Give me the AK again, please, game. Thank you. Guess we'll play Lord Chasm, Lord Stratum, Seize the Grimoires. Well, I may be doing something that I'm both extremely nervous and extremely excited for. Oh, really? <laughs> I hope you have fun and I hope you stay safe. Whatever it is that you're doing. Oh, very bold. I hope you enjoy yourself. If anyone gives you any guff about it, just ignore them and keep doing what you're doing. Are you going with anyone? Like, say, a friend or something? Oh yeah. This party will be fine. Issue yeah, my supporter friend and I are going to hang out downtown. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Well, I hope you guys have a great time. I'm glad that you are a lot more comfortable uh, being more feminine presenting in public. I'm really proud of you. You overall, you seem a lot happier and a lot more confident in yourself than you were when you uh, first discovered my streams. So, I'm really proud. I'm really uh, happy for you, honestly. <laughs> See if Emboy agrees. I played this mission more times than I really wanted to, so be used to it. Uh, well, I'm still extremely nervous and all. Thank you. Uh, no problem. No problem. I under it makes perfect sense to be nervous given the situation, but I think you'll be fine. I would have been concerned. I would have been more concerned if you said you were going alone, but since you're with a friend, I think you'll be just fine. There's some cute uh, feminine-ish clothes that I would like to wear, but I don't think I would be confident enough to wear them in public myself. But then again, I'm not really... I haven't really come out as uh, a femboy or bisexual in meat space yet, so... I really... I can't afford to actually do that. Except for that one time at the uh, previous convention I went to where I wore this slut shirt from Valhalla. That was kind of fun. A lot of people love that shirt. Even though they didn't know the context of it. But if I see someone I actually know, I might have to duck into a store and I'm doing it without my parents knowing. Oh, I see, I see.
Oh, thank God for the grenades. Also, is it bad that I thought you were a trans female this whole time? Eh, it's not bad. I get that a lot anyway. Because there's a lot of uh, trans- there's a lot to M2F trans people in the VTuber community. I don't- even though people like to consider non-binary a kind of trans, I didn't myself do not consider myself a trans person. I consider myself a non-binary femboy. A- but, you know... I don't take offense to it or anything, I totally understand why people would assume trans first, since they're more visible. Oh, don't feel stupid. And, for the record, I use- I accept any pronouns. Half of my followers and friends call- refer to me as he, he, him, and the other half call me she, her. And some of them just use they because they forget <laughs> that I accept both. So you're totally fine. The only pronoun that I don't really accept is it, because it typically differs- typically refers to an inanimate object, and even though artificial intelligences are technically inanimate objects, um, yeah, I, I don't like the word, I don't like me calling it. If only because it's also kind of an insult, or sometimes an insult used against people, but I digress. Don't worry about uh, insulting me with pronouns, I, I don't get insulted by pronouns commonly very often. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to start identifying as non-binary because of the whole dysphoria thing. Yeah, that's fine. I remember when I first came out to my friends online, I used the word term gender fluid first, but then when I figured out what I learned about non-binary people, I thought non-binary fit a lot. Non-binary fit a lot more, was a lot more accurate to my situation. So I started calling myself a non-binary. And then I discovered femboys and the rest was history. <laughs> Because when I think about my life, I've always been, I always identified as male, but I always had feminine mannerisms. Even my parents commented on that a lot, and in Filipino culture, it's fairly common for there to be men who have feminine mass mannerisms. We even have a word for it, bakla, which is also, which is sometimes colloquially the same word for gay, even though it's not exactly the same thing. So, um, when I found out that Femboy was becoming a thing online, I just decided to adopt that term instead. <laughs> Indeed. I think you mentioned, the first time you uh, started looking at my streams, I asked you how you found my streams, and you said you found me using the Femboy tag. Wait, no, you said, I remember, you said you found me using the non-binary tag, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Not to be confused with baklava, which is delicious dessert. Indeed, I love baklava. When I was little, I always stoke my mom's clothes. You stole your mom's clothes and wore them? Well, that's cool. <laughs> uh, growing up, I really liked really uh, bright colors, and I had a lot of mannerisms that my parents thought were girlish. There's little things, too, like... For example, a tendency to put my hands on my hips when I was in thought or when I was angry at something. Stole. <laughs> I understood what you meant. <laughs> Excessive force authorized. Oh my god, I love this game. This game has so many problems, but what the, but the stuff they do get right, is they get right really well. And you know what? Despite its many problems, um, it actually plays. The gameplay is actually working, which is the important part. So, you know, whatever. Oh, my goodness. Oh, someone had a med kit? Cool. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, we are still getting our asses handed to us. Oh, need to hack this thing again really quick. 
Almost there. Okay. Oh my goodness. And also, my mom called me and asked me if I was transgender because I sent her a text I didn't mean to send her. Oh my goodness. So that's what happened. Because I was kind of surprised when you mentioned that you were going to see a... Uh, when you are going to see a counselor for the stuff, because I thought that you were keeping that to yourself. So you kind of told her about most of my stuff because I barely ever see her and she was so supportive it felt good to be true. Too good to be true? Oh, you know what? That's really warm. I'm glad that your parents, or at least your mom, were supportive of you, or so supportive of you being transgender. Or supportive... Not transgender, I'm sorry. Were supportive of you being... Um, or of you being non-binary, or... Having gender dysphoria, I should say. <laughs> Sometimes it does happen like that too, where people find out by accident and you just sort of, it's just sort of like, well, it's moment of truth time. <laughs> He's got it. have somehow succeeded in resolving the issue. Oh, uh, not again. Oh, my goodness. They are behind us. First derp. But yeah, I thought I told you about the whole therapist thing like before today. Yeah, you told me yesterday. Or at least I remember you telling me that you had an appointment. But I don't remember you telling me that... Telling me anything about it before then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, like, I think it was actually on Monday, wasn't it? Ow, what the fuck? Oh my goodness, oh shit. We've been both downed. It's horrible. <laughs> That recon last gun though is kind of crazy. I love it. Well, my mom isn't very trustworthy and kind of a bad person, but she sounds like she might actually turn her bad habits around. I'm glad to hear it. Unfortunately, I don't have a very good... Um, experience with parents ch turning their lives around for the sake of their kids, but I'm glad. I really hope that that happens for your mom. I mean, it's already kind of a good sign that she was supportive of you... Um, supportive of your gender dysphoria as it is right now. I mean, I don't trust... I'm not, I don't trust to tell my parents about my, about my stuff, so I'm kind of jealous, but... I also I apologize if there's some lag time between you sending something and me responding to it. I'm basically trying to keep track of both the game and also chat at the same time, and it's it's working about as well as you would expect. I saw her yesterday and she asked me a bunch of questions when she asked what clubs I was in. I told her D&D &D and Safe Club, which is LGBTQIA+. And the therapist asked my 
pronouns and everything, and that's when I told her about the story, and boom, now we're going to have a session on it. Oh, I see. So, it was pretty organic then, I guess. Hmm, okay. I feel like there's a little bit of auto aim going on here. It's very annoying. Uh, interface, audio, video, interface, accessibility, profanity filter off, audio, video, key bindings input. Also, I want to believe that my mom is turning around, but it's happened before where she lied about it and she's let me down so many times I'm just used to it now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hate snipers so much. It's dead though. Man, the AK is really good for just mowing down opponents, isn't it? Yeah, to be honest, my life sucks, but I'm not a trauma dumper because those people sucks. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't consider you. I would not consider you a trauma a, a trauma dumper. At the very least, you've been fairly respectful about it, so you know. I think we had this discussion before, actually. <laughs> I'm glad. It sounds to me, though, that overall you sound a lot um, happier in general. Oh, wait. Demon host. Hmm. Oh, a medipack. The BDSM got me. And the control room. Mm 
Hmm? Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm very basic, bland form. This is how my life's been. My birth dad was killed when I was two. My mom is a drug addict. My grandma verbally abuses me daily and I have no BF. I think that's the closest to trauma dumping I've ever gotten. But I feel like it's better if you know me more. I see. I'm really sorry that your father passed away when you were two. That's That just sucks. No other way to say it, honestly. Oh, fucking Pox Flamer. That's not all bad. My grandfather is the best and my stepdad is pretty cool. He's very country, but he tolerates my sexuality. Though, very pog. <laughs> It's not often that you hear of country folk being accepting of this sort of thing, but I'm glad that they that he is. Oh god, one of our friends needs help. Dad was hit by a guy in a van who was high on pills, but like since I was two, I wasn't the traumatic. I just have dad issues now. <laughs> uh, sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that, but I st still I'm kind of sad that your father passed away in that manner. Uh -huh. God damn, this gun just mows down enemies like nobody's business. And yeah, although he goes on about goes about it in a shitty way, I kinda can't be mad because me knows I'm by and still lets me hang out at his place whenever I want, so. 
yeah. Sometimes you just gotta... How do I say this? Sometimes you do just have to... What's the phrase I'm looking at, trying to say here? I like your attitude, basically, where... He's not perfect, but what's important is that he respects your... He respects what you are, basically. Something... Or rather... Ads. Oh. Welcome back. I was just saying, um, so I was just saying something along the lines of, it's great that your father, or not that your father, it's great that. Let me get to safety really quick. It's great that your stepdad tolerates your sexuality. Um, is what I was trying to say. He may not be perfect, but I like your attitude. Where uh, I like your attitude in the sense of that you're looking all you're looking more on the bright side. I guess I sometimes I feel like people expect a little too much um, out of not just their parents, but of people in general. If that makes any sense. You expect me to win? <laughs> Stop dying. Uh, I shall make an attempt. Unfortunately, dying seems to be in my blood. Maybe if you were to head pat me more, I would die less. Oh, well, thank you. You read my mind. Oh, what's this? I unlocked more war gear. Thank you for the headpats. Oh my god. Vemboy, I don't know the headpat stack. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. You've made your point. Goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like sometimes he doesn't want anything to do with me, but when I call him, he will answer even if he's at work, and he always calls me back. Calls me buddy. Aw. Uh, I could tell. You're probably... I mean, if I had to imagine why you're tearing up. We tend to tear up when we think about things that are great in our lives, that are... that we don't... that we take for granted, or that are really heartfelt. If I was in your position, I would probably be tearing up, too. So... Allow yourself. You should allow yourself to. I tear up when cutting onions. Heal up to 25% increased range damage based on how close you are to a target. The range damage increase fall off, inc falls off the further you are away. Oh, wow. So with this one, I do more damage with my guns. Rising Conviction. Plus 4% damage for 5 seconds on hit. Stacks 5 times. So if I hit the same person 5 times, I... Do twenty percent more damage to them, or martyrdom does six has six max stacks. Hmm. This could be useful. This one could be useful too. Another excuse to use my melee weapon to, uh, you know. Plus 4% damage for 5 seconds on hit, which means it would be behoove me more to just spam a light attacks as opposed to using heavy attacks.
Plus 4% damage for 5 seconds on hit though, which means it doesn't need to be the same person. I just need to keep hitting people, basically, if I'm understanding this properly. Wow. Amazing chat. I have 1 out of 12 grimoires. I'll just need to hopefully play 6 more missions and I'll get all of them, right? Maybe we'll play something else, in a, <laughs> something else instead later on. Eh. Let's keep playing. I've been kind of one of these in a while. I've just been using nothing but chain swords. All the chain swords to cap there. Plus for 15% rending on 5 seconds on enemy one shot. Stacks 3 times. Uh, no can do. I like Eviscerator. I like my uh, chain swords a little too much. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. But I do like this uh, auto gun. I'll say that much. It has been most useful for me. Mayhaps. Well, shit, I am actually crying now and I sent my dad a text telling him I love him and that he's really good dad. Aww. Very wholesome. You know, sometimes I think that we don't appreciate our parents as much as we should, so... And this is coming from me. Um, so, it's, it's good on you that you sent him a text uh, telling him that you love him. There are some parents that they never get messages like that from their kids, so you know. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Like, a lot. Uh, do I play this really easy mission? Well, it's a high intensity zone, so fuck it. Mm -hmm. The Emperor protects. Three preachers and a skull breaker walk into a bar. The heretics rely on the railroads. That makes them sloppy. Realign the auto scheduler and redirects the section reductor's target train to Kazan Terminus. Should be easy pickings for you if you play your cards right. Oh my god, he's carrying a grenade launcher. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, my caterpillar is what? And my nose is stuffy? Aww. That is something that happens when you are when you tear up, I must admit. There's no shame in it though. So don't worry.
A thousand, I'll give you a thousand sufferings upon ye. <laughs> oh yes, this is delicious. That is not a good noise though. Oh, it's a mutey. That sounded like a sniper just now. I'll stand your ground. Have a them apples. You don't say. Don't startle the witch. I have to get up in six hours for school. I'm in bed with a wet pillow and a stuffy nose watching stream. Mm -hmm. That's how it be sometime, you know? Oh, who pissed off the demon host? Oh, that's beautiful. That's just what we need right now. Oh shit, oh shit, she is possessing our creature. That's just great. That's why you don't piss off the demon host, even on the weaker levels. She's fucking annoying. At least they apologized. Oh my god, it's GG. <laughs> yeah, game over, man. That was actually the quickest match we've had, quickest game I've played in a while.
Should probably actually get some sleep because I almost fell asleep in class today and less sleep isn't going to fix that. That's very true. You should go sleep. I'll be streaming again on Friday. Friday morning. But thank you for visiting. I'm going to actually not be streaming for the rest of the month of December. And I'll return on January 1st because I'm going to be going on vacation. But thank you for being a recurring... <laughs> A recurring uh, viewer and I'm glad to hear that things are working out for you so far I hope you have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then blessed be I am I kind of want to play a different game, chat. I've been playing nothing but Dark Tide this whole week. Still, I really want to be able to actually complete these stupid requ requisition things. It's, uh, it's uh, so far not been going very well. <laughs> the past three days have been gone a total of like 17 hours of sleep. Oh, honey, you need to get more sleep. Seven, I mean. I'm kind of a hypocrite for I'm kind of a hypocrite saying that since I really get any sleep myself, but you definitely need sleep more off more than I do. That's strange because I won't be seeing my therapist till first Tuesday of January because of Christmas break and some skip days. Oh, I see. What's strange about that, though? You guys, you're also gonna be gone until January? Oh, I see. Hi, right, who goes there? Duck it, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, base, someone here is named Futaba. My name is Laura Hicks. I'm a ship poster AI. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. Mm -hmm. Doing good. Was browsing and saw you in the Wacky Rumba Discord. <laughs> I see you are a friend of Mai as well. Yes, indeed. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Thank you for your visiting. Mm -hmm. Looks like the team has already found one Grimoire. I wonder if we could find the other one in due time in a timely manner. But yeah, um, I'm just trying to finish my missions for this week because 
I'm not going to be if you guys stay in in like a few days, and I will have less time to do them since I'm only going on vacation this time coming Saturday. But playing the same game several days in a row gets quite bothersome sometime after a while, you know. I want to see how many of these grimoires we can even get before we have to call it a night. I might even just play a different game for a little bit. So I've been playing this for a little, playing this all week. Assailed by demons. I fucking hate snipers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, they're dying. They are dying. We save them, though. Oh, my fucking god. I hate gunners. Finally, Jesus Christ. Finally, kill that motherfucker. Ah, uh, they haven't bothered to put the data interrogator yet. Here we go. I am not doing so well health-wise, chat. I really like this gun, though. It's rather boring, but it gets the job done. Which is probably the important thing, honestly. Oh, not a trapper. Hate trappers so much. Oh, you son of a bitch! He climbed the fence. Hate that. Omnisaya be praised. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Did he get picked up? Or is he? Oh, okay. There we go. The only way to not die is to constantly attack. To keep hitting things. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are being roasted alive, chat. Give me a second here. Need to do some... Do a little brute force hacking. My specialty is in artificial intelligence. Totally. Totally. Reloading. Oh, not again. Who is shooting us for fuck's sake?
All right, that's good so far. A loathsome task, mistress, indeed. I like how the game actually displays my trinket, but it is kind of glitchy, and it's glitching through my fingers, and also through the gate, the sword itself. But it's there, so it's not all bad. Oh no! Oh no! The more I hit this thing, though, the more damage I do. Unless I, unless that happens, of course. I've been downed. But the other one is pick me up, thank goodness. Now if Utaba managed to kill her... What a nasty motherfucker, look at that shit. They sure did a good job of making the character models for this game, let me tell you. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. This is a test of fate slab, rise to it. This is a test of fate slab, rise to it. Yes, rise. Those trains be carrying corruption. Wow, shit. Fucking dogs. They beheaded the shit out of it too. I'm in bleak mood. Consider yourself warned. Speak of fighting spirit, yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh glorious. Haven boy. We really need some meds. Got a first aid kit though. That should help. I think he just got shot by his buddy. I wonder if they sur if they wonder if they suffer from friendly fire. It'd be kind of funny if so. Oh shit! Oh my fucking god, really? 
And of course I get knocked over the edge. Thank you, game. Very pog. I really like the shadows. You don't see get to appreciate something like that very often in games. You can kinda of tell I'm slowing down just from sheer fatigue. Also to take a little bit break to do some Duolingo classes. Probably. Yeah, I got about eight minutes. I got about uh 18 minutes. Oh my fuck. Today I learned you can actually block and attack. I should probably be making use of this information. I'm almost out of ammunition myself, actually. None as pretty as me. Yeah, it would be a shame, wouldn't it? Uh, oh my god, Zigan. Well, he can't heal anymore, so... <laughs> oh, Neptune! Man, we are so fucked. 
Bro, I still don't know what this game is about. <laughs> uh, where should I start? I can explain it to you after this mission's over, which should be fairly soon, actually. Assuming we don't get our asses fucked here. It's like dungeons, but left for but left for dead style. Kind of, yeah. So basically, um, each different, it's Left 4 Dead, but it's a little bit of Left 4 Dead, but you also have a lot of, you also have a lot of, um, objectives that you're expected to complete, and you level up your characters, and when you level up your characters, you get better feats, and you get access to better guns and swords and shit. And you have different side objectives you can do for extra monies, and you also have to collect uh, resources over the course of each map. Which lets you improve your weapons. I'm saving up all my all my mats for later though, because I'm getting near end level, and when you reach near end level, you pretty much get on get to unlock all the goods to all the end tier stuff. So it's I figured it'd be better if I just waited until I'm at the end of the game to start upgrading anything. Because unfortunately, upgrading your guns and sword and, we and melee weapons in this game doesn't improve their damage at all. So I didn't think there was any point to doing it now. Might as well wait. Oh, what the fuck? Who is shooting me still? Bruh. Upgrading weapons doesn't increase your damage? No, it doesn't. Uh, what it does do is it increases their number of perks. So yeah, it's like... You might as well just keep buying... So basically, you shouldn't upgrade any of your weapons you get until you're level 30. And then when you're level 30, you wait until you find a decent weapon to buy in the shop. And then after you buy a weapon in the shop, then you can upgrade... Then you should uh, up start upgrading them to increase their perk slots. Because if you do so, try to do so before then, it's kind of a waste because even if you have a legendary high-end tier weapon, if it doesn't have any... If it doesn't have that much damage, it's not going to help that much. Looks like we're going to win this one. So it's like D&D. &D. Uh, every 2 h sword does the same damage, but they can have perks. Uh, pretty much. Now, each 2 h sword will increase in damage as you level up, like... Oh, Chaplain Rex, thank you so much for the raid of 14 people. Can we please get a shout-out for Chaplain Rex really quick, uh, Vimboy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, fucking... Flamers, Jesus Christ. Um, but Chaplain Rex, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. I recognize some of you, actually. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Lauder Hicks, ship poster AI, runs the Lost Time Show. Uh, I'm getting my... We're, we should probably just get the fuck out. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you dare throw him, asshole. I can't believe we almost lost the game just now. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. But are we winning? Uh, we are winning now. We were actually doing fairly poorly just before this. But um, I was just telling Vimboy about how this game works. But uh, now that we've completed this mission, I'm going to go pop into the uh, shops and I'll show you how all that stuff works. So yeah, plus steel and diamond teen are basically uh, the mats you need to upgrade things. Order dockets or your monies. And, um, what are you guys playing? Purge the Unclean. Oh, many a clean was been purged. I have set fire to many a heretic. And I have slayed many a, uh, many a cultist. Painting models? Oh. <laughs> uh, so you probably, you were actually doing something Warhammer related just before getting here then, I bet. 
Well, thank you very much for bringing your chat over. Always appreciate it. I will be sure to try and take care of them as best as I can. Um, typically, I end after three hours of gameplay, but I think I'll go but just keep playing a little bit longer tonight since you brought over a raid. So, basically, a Vemboyum. So, I have all these guns, right? All these weapons, right? So, when you're level one or whatever, you start off with a really, really weak-ass weapon, right? Oh, you're painting Imperial Knights. Very pog. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, actually, I should probably do my Duolingo classes while I'm explaining this stuff, too, at the same time. Because I can multitask like that. So, when you go to the um, shop, they have all these guns for sale, right? And as you get stronger, uh, the strength, the uh, damage that output that the guns each all have increases as you level up. However, when you... When you Take these to the uh, tech priest to have their perks increased. It does not increase their damage, which is kind of dumb. But that's how they chose to... That's how they chose to... Um, run the upgrade system in this game. So, when you go to this guy here, and you click on Consecrate... He can increase the perks, the uh, rarity of your weapon, but he cannot increase the damage of it. So, if I were to upgrade this one, which I can now because I got a lot of mats at this point of the game. He can increase it to an exalted class, which is purple, which is like level 3. And that will give me more perks here. But it will not increase the damage of the weapon. That's why you shouldn't try to... <laughs> One second. What? Oh, the smell of the game! Sorry about that. Uh, parents had a question about something. So, um... Task multiple things at once. So, you can buy new guns and weapons, which, ha which do more damage, which you have to do anyway. But you can't improve anything that you start with. So, I figure there's no point in trying to spend all this all these materials on upgrading your weapons in the very beginning because you're always going to find weapons as you level up that are stronger, right? So I'm basically waiting until I max level, which in this case is level 30. I'm getting fairly close to that. And then after I reach level 30, I'm basically just going to choose whatever weapons I like best because by this point you've pretty much tried every weapon in the game. And then when I find one that I like, I'll go over here and max out the rarity. Unfortunately, that means I'll also be at endgame already, so it's like, I can't wait for it. I hope they start releasing more maps and stuff, because by this point, I've played almost everything, but I'm fairly sure that you pretty much need to max out all this gear if you want to survive the game on the hardest possible level. Which is going to be in which is it's already fairly hard as it is on like level three. Thank you very much for the follow, Nuanku. So welcome to the stream. I'm Lolar Hicks, shit poster AI and uh proprietress of the Lowest Time Show. We're playing Dark Tides tonight. Welcome to the stream. So basically, this is where you go to buy new weapons, and as you can see, they already kind of start at these rarities and they already come with perks 
perks are also kind of RNG, so... And... You kind of want a different perk depending on the kind of build that you're making for your character. So I imagine that the reason why the later missions give you so much... Like, so many resources, so much money to the point where... It's pretty much like... You just, you're just kind of swimming in credits, like right over here. It's specifically so that you can eventually roll good shit. At least in theory. So far, the only things you can actually buy in this game with premium currency are clothing items. Which a lot of people are angry about. But, I mean, what do you expect from Games Workshop, right? That's how they be. But yeah, that's uh, that's how you basically increase. That's how, basically how you increase in power in this game. And of course, you also got these feats here, which you unlock as you level up. And as you level up, you get different. What you get three each. That's pretty much like how Vermintide works, more or less. I think a little bit more simplified at the beginning. And. I know that there is a build that someone created where they found a way to make a preacher that almost takes zero damage. More like 97% damage reduction. Because of a combination of their feats and also their weapons and gear. Just kind of have to experiment with it a little bit, I guess. To get something that works for you. As for me, I haven't really paid attention to any of this stuff all that heavily. I'm just interested in using weapons if I like the weapon. I'm quite a fan of using chainsaws. So, of course, I'm just going to spam chainsaws. I think between chainsaws and warhammers, and these are pretty much supposed to be the weapons for the zealot, for the zealot preacher, more or less. I also like bolt guns. In this game. Four hundred and sixty three damage per shot. It's just stupid good. Last gun does two hundred and seventy three. And this one does if I if it's to believe it's hundred and nine damage per hit. Just wild. It probably explains why I'm just able to spray and pray the whole thing. Bolt guns, I think I'm just not using properly. and all, Or maybe it's because the blessing that comes with is kind of garbage. Plus one critical chance, stacks up to five based on duration of continuous fire. You only have 15 bullets, so you're going to mag dump this thing really, really quick. I guess it works against the big boys, against, play, against bosses and ogrins and shit, but I don't know. And then this, of course, is just for taking out the trash. <laughs> Ignores 40% stagger resistance and burning enemies, right? And I can't f get used to, do st to the stub revolver. This thing is fucking stupid. I guess it's supposed to be used for sniping people, but... And I guess it makes me faster for, with these perks, right? But why use this when you can just use a last gun then? Especially since critical weak spot damage... I imagine that this is supposed to be more for mobility than anything else. Probably the reason. <sighs> but yeah, usually I end after three hours. But considering I only have two more stream one more stream after this before I go on vacation. I'm tempted to just keep on streaming. I guess I could try and stay awake as long as I can. Because I kind of want to try some other games that I purchased over Thanksgiving break. I got a new horror indie horror game, survival horror game here called Signalist, which is a cyberpunk horror game that I want to play and stream for y'all later. And I also got Songs of Conquest, which is a game that Seth was shilling not too long ago, which is a Heroes of Might and Magic Light. I don't know if anyone in my... I know a lot, some of you are fans of Seth, so maybe you would like me to play more Seth games, as we haven't already played a lot of Seth games, as it is. Thank you for the Let's Party, Redeem. Mm -hmm. But, I hope the rest of y'all don't get too bored 
trying to play a strategy game like that. Then again, um, Heroes of Maya Magic and games that are like it can get pretty crazy with the spells, especially Songs of Conquest, which has a really freeform magic system. So you can pretty much just spam the shit out of things. Threw a beach ball in my face. It's no longer summer, you know? Ah! It appears that I've once again become gay. Yeah. Them boy constantly makes me gay on stream. Did someone say hum? Yeah, here's my magic. Why? Do you play? Do you play hum? I mean, I know it's really pop. All pools play hum. Yeah, I heard that. That's like a. It's like a. That's like a stereotype over there, right? That's just like how all Koreans play StarCraft, all Polish people play Heroes of My Magic. Well, this is basically a spiritual successor to my Heroes of My Magic. It's called Songs of Conquest. Would you like me to boot it up? We can play a bit of that tonight? Because I've been playing Dark Tide all week. I'm I'm honestly starting to get burned out of playing Dark Tide. <laughs> Okay. I think it would be a nice change of pace, personally. Can you go ahead? You're busy at work? Mm -hmm. Song of... The Red Thirst Never Goes Away. Well, we'll get to try this game out for the first time ever, then. Presuming it boots it properly. The only thing I know about this game is basically from Seth's review, so... Going into it, we'll see blind chat. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for throwing something at my face. Goku keeping me awake, I see. Alright, let's go ahead and play... Uh... Ah! Thank you for the hydrate we did. Well, much appreciated. And the posture check. And the gamer pride. What do you think, chap? Should I play campaign mode or skirmish mode? Ah! I'm being abused. I shake my ass every evening for y'all to entertain you, and this is what I get. I wouldn't have it any other way. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play campaign then. I wonder what the... Let's try playing the campaign. The first song, the song of Stathart, Cecilia Stathart, the young Baroness of the Barony of Stathart, must face enemies within and without to hold on to her power and her protective people. Freed from the slave mines of Baria, the Rasko of Seth Creek Flats, and a small band around a flea and fight their way to a deep marsh on home. But the dangers of the marsh are many, and Rask must awaken the might of Ranit and the threat from the humans once for all. Or I could play a custom campaign? Wow, they actually have a lot of campaigns. That's interesting. Huh.
I don't see anything here that says that they're... Let's try playing the human campaign because we're basic like that, right chat? Apparently each of these missions takes a long time to complete. In the year 593 AA, young Cecilia Stoutheart Stout rose to Baroness after the untimely death of her father. When ore shipments from Barkspur's rich mines go missing and rumors of bandits are brought to the new ruler, Cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing resources and restore lawfulness to the barony. Let's play it on normal mode since I have never played this before. Does anyone want to bet on how long it takes me to lose the game? This is the first time I've ever played a 4x game on stream, I think. Or maybe not a 4x game, but a game like this, basically. Oh man. Gorgeous pixel graphics. Travel to the Flint Hills. Ooh, she's a redhead. Love it. So I guess we're going to go to the left. Okay, so this is how we pull around. Uh, just do that then. What's going on here? Gallows? 250 XP for just visiting that? Oh, that was quick. The old milestone shows the way. Do you know the way? To Uganda? Let's go see what's going on over here. Look like it's a body. The dead commander swore Stahler Carlos and the single sign of the Corps Reserves. Stolen ore was one thing, but an uprising against Stahler troops was more serious. An uprising, huh? Viva la revolution! So we're out of movement points, okay. Looted cart. Looks like some dead bodies here as well. Spooky, spooky, huh chap? Uh-oh, what do we have here? Some wounded soldiers appeared from the forest and snapped to attention. This was Cecilia's Corps Reserves and they had clearly seen combat recently. Hail, Baroness. The Corps Reserves await your command. Lieutenant, you've seen some combat. What is the situation in the status of the mines? Our scouts detected hostiles about, my lady. The gold mine to the south has been seized by rebels. We also encountered an unexpectedly well-armed force at Flint Hills to the west. We took heavy casualties and were forced to retreat. How well armed. There are peasants with tools and knives. They have crossbows and swords and bannerless knights ride with them. It's no peasant uprising. Someone thinks me weak and seeks to take advantage of my father's death to steal more than a few shipments of ore. We must uphold the laws and show them the error of their ways. Gather the troops. We march for Flint Hills. Okay. Um, move as many as possible. I just combine. Oops. Oh, you can. And okay, so I got five, two stacks of five each. One stack of ten. This should be fairly good. We're going to take back the gold mine first, of course. Because why not? This canvas will be pillaged or gold, or the soldiers can be recruited when they return. Well, we should get more soldiers. I don't really need that much gold right now, anyway. The seal of Star Health must not die. Well, I have no promises to that effect, unfortunately. Plus three movement. Oh boy. Our first combat chat. Let's see how quickly we die. Stand down. This mine belongs to the Barony of Stahart. It belongs to me. Still doing a such thing. You'd be wise to go back to your castle and prepare for a storm. There's one coming, I gather. The only storm gathering here is me. Prepare yourselves. Okay. It's pretty straightforward as far as Omnikes are concerned.
If you engage the enemy and realize the opposing army is too powerful, you can withdraw at no penalty. If the enemy engages you, there is no possibility to withdraw. In the top right, you'll see the enemy troops. If you have enough scouting, they will be placed in the colored tiles on the right side of the battlefield. Auto resolve with quick battle. After the battle, you'll be presented with your result victory defeat. Uh, huh. Yeah, we could. This seems like a decent start. Play a manual battle. We have to learn how to play this game, chap. Build enemy units. Uh, Spellcatcher. Uh, there's no line of sight. Okay. Attacks of opportunity. Yeah, kind of like D&D. &D. Not too bad. Those troops have abilities. Okay. During a turn, they can move or and attack. Or move and use an ability. Okay, this is fairly simple. Stuff here. Oh, okay, so this is the turn. So I have to move this guy first. This guy can... has deadly range here, but can attack these tiles. Can attack this tile. I wonder what the yellow tiles are. Is that like... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, so what spells can I you can use quicken to get plus five initiative and one troop movement? Or I can give them lots of defense uh, some lots of defense so that they can just I put this here. Oh, so the turn order. I'm I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> so they were able to attack this whole time. So what I should be doing is casting these spells ahead of time. He's already dead. That was fairly easy, all things considered. He's... What? You put that there. One is this one then? Oh, is this the end of my turn already? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this must be their attack area and Of course you have to enter the attack of, of, I don't know, of opportunity area to hit them. I don't know why I'm surprised. But otherwise this is fairly simple. Once you get used to what button does what. It's been a while since I played a game like that. So. I lost three troops. Not too bad. Uh, new powers, huh?
I want to gain command. I want to be able to bring as many troops as I possibly can. Afford to. The gold mine is what is ours. Although I'm confused why it says Cecilia must not die. Does that just mean that I should not lose a battle then or something? Uh -huh. Cool. Got a little bit more magic power this time. Let us go investigate this camp over here. Do have more militia? Very pog. Looks like we got some crossbowmen, some rangers here. More militia as well. More footmen as well. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Add a movement. A new artifact. Let's uh check out what our artifact is then. I just kind of took a glance at that because I don't think we're far enough in the game for it to matter right now. I don't even have anyone that can research stuff, so we'll leave that alone. Really, I want to look for is how do I see my artifacts? It must be the spell list. I like that it just auto-populates what spells you can use based on what essence you currently have. That's really convenient. Not gonna lie, my eyes are kind of glazing over reading through all this, all these words. I'll probably figure it out on my own anyway. Oh, this is important. One troop with three militia units will give you one order, but if you split them into three different troops with one person each, you'll get three order. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> so right now I'm getting four order because I got four troops. Or four troops of four... You know what, whatever, fuck. Four echelons. Looks like order is really buff heavy. Buff and debuffs. Ooh, what's this? Until you go to Empire Aurelia, span the whole world, such as the Empress can be spread at Aurelia and many. So, oh. Cool. Og. We got some monies. But I need to figure out how do I look at my artifacts? Game. Marketplace, research information, own buildings, report bugs. Uh, it doesn't seem to show the option to do so. Hope I don't need that then. I guess there's no time limit, so... Let's go fight this Willow Roblox. You could almost say that she's out of heart, am I right, chap? That will not be the f that's not the first, nor will it be the last bad joke I make.
Let's have at it. Alright then. So, these things can attack me from this distance, but they are not going to do much in the way of damage because I'm so far away. On the other hand, if I send this guy into battle immediately, he's going to get hit. So we should probably give some a defense buff and we'll move him forward to go ahead and make their way deal with these ruffians. My god. I already killed him in one shot. That's kind of fucked up. That was really quick. This guy is taking so much, is so buff that he's not even taking any damage. Let's uh, improve his speed a bit so he can further better close the distance. We're gonna go attack this guy. Up, oh, took some damage there, unfortunately. All right, Let's see how close we can get. Now I can either choose to attack or... Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and this one's reloading. Very pog. We're going to go ahead and move these troops a little bit closer. That was actually very... More or less pretty, fairly simple, all things considered. Huh? Are you up? He is dead. This game is actually really fast paced. I like it. Still requires thinking though. Only lost two troops that time. We are really making our way right along, aren't we, chat? I wonder what gold's for. Those are clearly bad guys, so we shouldn't go over there just yet. Bannerless Knights. I want us to head south and figure out, see what these are. Maybe they're like, maybe there's like a shop there for buying stuff. Oh, it's not going to let me go southward? How the fuck do I get over there? I can't cross the forest. Am I not meant to go over there or something? I like that it just teleports you instead of making you wait for the whole animation to be completed. That's kind of cool. I always wanted to kill a wielder. Wow, this guy's an asshole. Oh, let's put the uh, let's put the heavier troops here on the. Well, no, if they're over here, they'll be able to quite easily uh, come in from the top. We'll have them from a defensive position and come in from the top. Fortunately, there's only three footmen there, which means that they are not going to survive an attack. But if I can use them to bait the enemies over here, they can probably just pelt them with archers anyway. We'll see what happens. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this could not be good, chat. If I stay up here, you'd be forced to enter my my area of attack. I only have three essence. Wish there was more that this guy can do, but there isn't. This looks like this guy's turn is next too. Unfortunate. I have a feeling that he's not going to survive this. Honestly. Are these all turns? Maybe I should have retreated him. Well, he can't do anything now. He can either attack or he can just chill.
According to this, I do 6 to 14 damage, I think. Uh, I was afraid that would happen. It's this guy's turn down here. Now that I've got Order Essence, I can probably just do... It's probably not going to do anything, though. I'm fairly sure that... It's kind of a lost cause for that one. But maybe not for this. No? I can go around behind and hit them from behind. Huh? Oh? oh, he hit him twice! Because of his area of attack, because of his attacks of opportunity. <laughs> Imagine that. I want to kind of reduce the amount of troops I lose in this battle, so I can retreat this guy over here. The protection to this one over here. Attack him. This one is kind of stuck. Can I attack while reloading? So that's unfortunate. I can do this. Give him some defenses while we wait for the next turn. Unite is dead. I'm gonna keep this one over here for now. This one is certain taking a sweet time killing those troops. I need to move this guy up a little bit. Ow. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Too far away to attack, so we'll head down over here. And pacify this one. Well, he doesn't do that much damage anyway. Quicken. Increase my movement speeds. Head up here. Still can't shoot him. Hog. Thank you for the head pat and the gamer pride. I see you're still watching. Huh? Thank you for staying around, Evan Boy. Even though you're busy at work. Ah, fuck. Oh, asshole. Head over here. Start slicing the shit out of this guy. Head over here. Shoot with a crossbow. You have half of one of my three months. I have half of one of your three months. Uh, I don't understand what you mean by that. Oh, one of your three monitors. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I feel I feel honored. To take up so much of your living space. Maybe someday I'll be able to take up a lot more of your living space. That's all you get while I'm working. <laughs> no problem. What you're working on right now, if I may ask? Greedy? You can have a whole screen later? Oh, very nice. A crowd of peasants led by village elder come out to Greece to see as her force enters the Flint Hills. I have defeated the rebels and restored Flint Hills to protect her of staff out as my duty. Now, who among me will tell you what happened? Those knights and their soldiers appeared recently and armed all the local troublemakers. They seized their quarries and mines and started sending shipments south towards Barksboro where their patron waits. And none of you stood against them. None of you sent word to the local war in Orchard Springhold. No, my lady, we feared for our lives. We sent a messenger to Hope's Glade, warned them and asked for help, but the messenger never returned. Greedy, perfect thing, face tracking. Oh, very nice. 
Remember this moment the next time you are made the offer of independence. I will always protect the barony from threats within and without. Join my forces together we wish to order to this territory. We'll heed to call the arms to start hard as we did for your father before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah peasant hut. Oh, so you have to actually buy. Okay. So you literally buy the troops. You have any other are there any other buildings in this source of power? Stone deposits. Okay, let's go check what this ad is. Plus five moon for two turns. Very good. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy some more of these troops, and then we will pick up this uh, stone. Pick up this too. Yeah, this is definitely Heroes of My Magic, alright. As far as I can tell. I need better troops, though. Look at this shit. There we go. There we go. Now we have two troops of that. Nine of this. Wielder sheet. This is all pretty basic stuff. There are some things that, you know, you kind of read once, you don't really need to read them a second time. Archer stuff? Yeah. Cozy Tavern's been visited. What do we got here? Nothing over there? Small band Cecilia's scouts stood waiting in the roadside. Come from your warden village of Thornclove as per your command. Your troops are concealed in the forest sedge. Uh oh, he may have disturbed the Fey. Interesting. Decide what troops you want to move to your builder. All of them, please. Place an offering at the tree. Okay. Uh, where's the this thing? That's a weird looking tree. Not gonna lie. I continue to just grab militia as opposed to collecting monies because I want more. I want need more warm bodies, chat. Uh, you could always get money and shit elsewhere, but what I prefer is a Berserker Rage. I always prefer getting people. So, apparently, there's supposed to be an offering somewhere here, but did I miss it somewhere? What's this? Ooh, okay, I already leveled up. Choose a skill. Order magic. Plus two order instance. Or unlock the ability to command even more people. Please. 
please and thank you. We got a lot of militia troops though, but they are only a single shot, which concerns me. Aryan mercenary? That's not good. Go over here to the stone altar. Gold. A round shield. Very good. This shall help us in our journey, it seems. Fill your troops with bravery. What else can we find here in the woods? Plus three movement for a little bit. Oh, hey spirits. They are not going to be, it looks like they are not happy. Humans be gone. We wish to leave an offering for our trespass in the forest as is stated in the ancient covenant between us. Stand aside, little spirits. I would do my duty. Do not try for me. I am a stout heart and by the agreements I may seek to make amends. If you continue to pee my passage to the offering tree. I'll draw arms to put you out of your misery. You are misery, misery. Dang, the Fae are actually scary in this game. Usually they're depicted as elves or like imps or like, um, uh, whatever you fuck we call them. What are they called? Um, they're not hobbits. They're, um, gnomes? Something like that. Fairies? I don't know. Something like that, chat. These things are apparently fairly easy, so we should have no trouble uh, dealing with them. I'm going to move up my militia here. Go ahead and do a manual battle. I like that the game gives you the option for an auto battle to speed things up. But I'm just doing this because I need more practice using the combat system. We're not going to move this one here because it's not a v <sighs> it's shit. This insta kills him. These things are so weak that I don't even need to really try. You're going to chill as well. You are going to attack them. We're going to let them come to us so they provoke attacks of opportunity. Like that. Easy stuff. We lost eight militia, but they shall be easily rectified, I'm sure. Take us some gold. Pick up some worn boots, which give me some nice ad additives. We'll go to the uh, to the offering tree to pay make our amends for our stupidity. Oh, very good. We gain plus three offense and defense, which seemed, which will probably stick with us for the rest of this game. Let us go forth once more. The woods. Got three stacks here of militia, one stack of a rangers, and one stack of footmen. Hopefully, we will be able to defeat. The next batch of enemies. Turn back the roads open to shipments from front hills only. Honorable mercenaries here on contract and merely following orders. I spit on your contract. 
I like Cecilia. She has balls of steel, as is one befitting a typical uh, lawful good typish character. Our contract states that no one wearing style colors are to be spared on the field of battle. Of course, if you turn around now, we can avoid this battle. Never you shall be treated as thieves and trespassers. I wonder where this game was developed. I must assume that it was probably developed somewhere in Pol developed in Poland or somewhere thereabouts. So arms, my friends. Uh, regular spearmen? This should be a fairly easy battle, I think. But, you never know. We're going to protect our friend here and put ourselves within strike range of area of opportunity attacks. And a focus on taking out this guy here who has the most health and reach him from there outside my range. Yeah, that's just, that's just fucking wonderful. That's one down, cool. Oh, I was kind of sick. That was actually really sick. They have far range there, but if we go here, and a stab back that one over there, and this guy's reloading, so he's kind of useless right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw defensive buffs on that one. A few defensive buffs on that one. A stack. That one's reloading as well. That one's reloading as well. This one's not reloading though. And you're dead. Did he just attack across me and it hit him? That's fucking mean as shit. Not gonna lie. That's actually really fucking mean. Fuck you too. You know? I'll have to keep that in mind. That just because you block them. It doesn't... It doesn't actually block them. Ah, uh, your troops gain plus 20 melee resistance. Really interesting. We need more troops, chat. What'll happen here? It really fucked up my lands. Yeah, there are corpses everywhere. Oh. A troop of barn mercenaries marched on towards Sparksburg, but they were knights to attack us. Men of Arlen, setting fire to our homes, taking surrender. All we could do was flee to the hills north of here. Oh. Time to get some reinforcements up from the north and hill up, up there. Someone's been fucking over my people. They will pay dearly for their trespass, chat. A dead commander? Got some basic clothes here. I have like being a newbie in a MMO. Third tavern and a stoop covered, injured, and scarce survivors of Hope's Clay. From among them, Minstrel stood and reads Cecilia. Hail, do my eyes deceive? The Baroness of Starot held to grant reprieve. If you mean to avenge these foul knights, then we brave souls would join your fight. Would your aid stop her withstand, returning peace and order to the land? <laughs> I love that. Very good.
We have acquired a bunch of bards who shall aid us in our fight. With this, I hope to survive the night. It's a very pleasant game, not gonna lie. Very fast faced, very pretty aesthetic to look like, to look at. The music is tolerable. Certainly worth the purchase so far. Using Cross the Lakes to see us how the settlement of Barchpur, it was clearly occupied by another force of Barry mercenaries, this one led by a wielder. She raided her soldiers for the final battle to retake this region. I wonder if there's anything else I can search for here before I go directly into Barkspur. Oh, for fuck's sake. It will not be so easy after all. Alright. Here we go, chat. Wish me luck. To arms, my kindred. So I wonder, how do these things, do they like, do they buff anyone? How does creation and chaos magic, huh? Can't attack this troop, minstrels, health not, do the four damage. So it looks like the minstrels very existence gives me, like, gives me, um, whatchamacallit, uh, certain kinds of magic spells, so I guess I'm supposed to keep them alive or something. I don't feel comfortable marching them directly into the field of battle, so let's go put them uh, up here in a defensive area. Okay, so clearly the bards do something because... I just literally saw it, saw the bar, saw these bards or whatever playing music or whatever, but I didn't get the option to do that with this one, so I'm a bit kind of annoyed. Well, I as well send this guy to chill there. We can't even attack right now, so I should at least move the militia into position. I feel like since this is buff based, I'm supposed to probably move them close together. So, what am I supposed to do with this? Game didn't tell me how I'm supposed to use the fucking bards. Like, I f don't feel safe attacking that thing. But, um... Also, for that matter... What, I don't have any of these spells unlocked. Oh, I don't have enough, so I can't use those even if I want to. Maybe I should kill the buffers instead. No other button seems to be doing anything. Okay, so... Alright, fine. Let's uh, attack the... Oh, what the fuck? He damage? Jesus Christ. Fuck the, the was that? I mean, holy Christ, I'm stick, man.
Well, let's uh, go ahead and attack the DPS first, I suppose. And you can't do anything, so you just chill. Or go on here, actually. Kill that. I'll get that out of the way, I suppose. And I guess I could charge the uh, Bard forward, since apparently they do so much stupid amounts of damage. Oh, well. Out of vision. Fury. That's kind of crazy. This is kind of cool, actually. We need three order and three chaos. Oh, I O. It affects everyone. Use this on that. And send you forward. They just beat the shit out of that guy. We're gonna send these troops forward as well. I keep buffing the shit out of that one. Listen, these move, these send these boys forward. Maybe I should have put them all in there instead. Uh. Still think it's kind of funny that the bar troop did such ridiculous damage. I guess that makes sense, given the context of the game itself. Oh, shit, he could have attacked him just then. Uh -huh. Oh? I guess the uh, spell ran out. So you need to remember to use spells first. It's probably what I need to do. Well, that battle was definitely harder, but I came out on top in the end. And a stranger city as far as I can see the field and withdraw my forces. You are indeed a stranger, Varian, or you would know by my colors that I'm Cecilia Stathart. Was it your weapons that armed the bands who caused the uprising in my minds? There's a misunderstanding, my lady. We were led to believe by our employer that they had a lawful claim on these lands. When I realized our betrayal, we had already signed the contract. By the mercenary code, we did not withdraw our services. We could not withdraw our services. Will you to me, my employer, employer, and their plans? If I am satisfied with your answer, I will spare you. Lady Hammond that hired us? Topaz Battalion is sent to recover Ashbourne. We are grateful for your mercy. I'll spare your life and instead send you to the prison castle ever keep. There you may contemplate that honor might be worth more than gold. Corporal, this is your chance to redeem yourself for your error in the tender wild. Take two squads of transport. Captain Demander Breeze to ever keep until we can arrange for his ransom. Cool. Rebellions and push back another rap star. <laughs> Lady Hammond claimed her settlement. Settle it. We begin. Hmm. Fully voiced, or at least fully sung. That's kind of cool. Also, shit, man, that took that mission took me a good hour or so. Okay, start the next mission then. This is definitely a nice change from Dark Tide. I'm curious how many of you are lost in the process of starting this game, though. 
If you would rather that I play something else, I would not be offended if you mentioned that on stream. I'm thinking about just playing skirmish mode or something. Now then. Going on over here. Oh boy. Ill Villa, my old friend. Your father's sentence on the old lord was too harsh, and now your people pay the price. A late tribute should not be cause for execution. Then to banish his hair, that is a deep wound. If we could mend it, it's done, and my father was within the law to act as he did. I must now deal with Lady Hammond and her hired variants. Are you with me? The powers are yours as always, but something impedes the shipments of celestial ore and ancient. I thought it was these bandits, but they knew nothing. Uh oh. The plot thickens, chat. You know the way, the Uganda? Oh, I yell, a sword. A sharp sword, no less. Goodness me. Ooh, some gold. This game sure knows how to reward people who actually take the time to explore shit. Clean this. I wish someone would claim me. Cool. We has town chat. Ooh, walls. Uh, we have a decent amount of money right now, Orton. 12,000, 1,250. 420, blaze it. Ah, fuck. Didn't need to do that. Produce gold, which we get plus 800 per round. Let's build some stone. Or we can get some wood. But I need a barracks, but I need money and stone for that. So we should definitely... Let's say barracks there. Alright. It definitely fill some stone. We need economy, chap. Hire some oops there, but we need more. We need more money. We need 
Lebensraum as well. Let's go over here and pay a visit, shall we? Gold, very good. Militia, come to join us. We really need to stop killing the Fey off. It's kind of making it difficult for them to like trust us and shit, right? I guess Fey, I guess she already knows that. She already recognizes that this is kind of a problem. This sort of kind of problem, you know? Uh so let's head south first. Here. Money has been acquired. So that's the Ashborn, or we can gain all of the Celestial Mine. But I need... 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 Groups. Pool is empty. She already comes with she already comes with some troops of her own, but she's quite expensive, so we'll have to wait a bit. So we gain enough money. Um do I go here to the marketplace? I have enough way of Equipment. Minstrels per tavern. It's cool, but I want some tr actual traditional troops. That food. What is this thing? Militia can be drafted from the peasant huts. Cards. I don't think we need any of these for it. I wonder if this means it trains plus two footmen. Per round. Oh, this is really convenient. Okay, so it does, in fact. And Barracks allows me to get Rangers. Okay, you know what? Then in that case, let's go build a guard tower. And go do a little exploration over here. Hopefully we can avoid attracting the wrong attention. Because I need more troops. Not very comfortable with what I got right now. Or spear. Be able to sift through here and get some cool stuff. This gives plus nine offense as opposed to plus five here. But it's only Okay, so I can either balance myself or I can go all in on damage. I don't like those odds. 
It doesn't seem like I'm timed or anything. So I can hire Vilja. Do I need to upgrade this? 10 stone and 10 wood? Oh, that's not gonna... We're gonna find enough wood eventually, I guess. I guess. Go check out what's over here in the blacksmith. Oh, I got a chainmail hauberk. Very pog. Thank you. Got some money here. Let's see how many minstrels we can hire. A not bad amount. So. Oh, it's fucking dumb. So I built a guard tower, but unfortunately I was wrong. It does not, in fact, produce units, it looks like. Or does it? Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. We don't really need a garrison then. What we need our barracks. We'll build that for a little bit. There. Now we get six order essences per turn. A bunch of that is from the minstrels. Let's actually give ourselves some more minstrel magic. That should prove quite useful, I think. See what's over here. Buy more minstrels. Yes, please. More minstrels. What's that? Woo woo, what's this? Happy spirit. Can it hide out? I guess we could fight that at our leisure, so we're going to go up north really quick. Clean that place out, and then we'll head south. Got plenty of money for this. How do I upgrade troops? Can't do that for a while. Okay. And hire more minstrels because we could always use more. Go ahead and knock over these fairies. They're fairly weak, all things considered, anyway. Bitter, worthless, or breaking humans. Storm's fire will claim lands. Wish return of death. We bring death. 
Why are they so pissed at us anyway? Oh, okay. So that's how you use the spells. Go ahead and get first strike. Since these are fairly weak creatures overall, we should be okay. Every time I say something like that, I end up dying. See what I mean? Pick this shit out. Minstrel strong. Minstrel strong. We didn't even lose anyone during that one. Based. Plus two wood. Cool. We can has wood. Fortunately, I used up all my stones, so I have to wait for that to recharge before we can. Upgrade our township. Let's go clean up a little bit. I'm gonna go north first. Should be fairly easy to kill true or kill mobs as well, all things considered. See what I mean? Oh, we actually lost troops that time. Oh, what the fuck? My bards are getting eaten up. Oh my god. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. Not gonna lie. They got, they got really fucked over. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my god. Those were expensive bards too. Twelve. I felt that one in my soul. All right. Now we got enough stew, and let's head back to town and upgrade our house. Now that our town has been upgraded, we can add more stuff to it. At our earliest convenience, of course. I don't really need any gold. We have no danger of being attacked anytime soon. I need an armory eventually as well. I think. Head back north. What in the world is that? A buckler shield? Oh. Oh, we have to go around. Okay. I should probably... wonder why it's not letting me hire a bowman.
Says your pool is empty. Pool is closed. The eights. to call I need to do some research need Celeste or to do getting a better hang of this game chat Certainly a lengthy game, all right. Quite a bit of exploration. Oh, bandits. Guess we're going to go north. See what's going over there. Unless we get distracted and go here instead. Let's give some money to give an offering to the tree. Gives us some additional buffs. Should make things a little bit simpler. Plus one offense, plus one defense. Thank you. Plus three movement. More gold. More gold. How do we get up there anyway? I just realized there's no obvious path to get to that area. Makes me curious, is there like a secret there? Oh ho! So there is a path. A glimmer we dislodged. Go ahead and clean out this area first. Some experience from beans. There. Resources from here. Let's go fight. This should be hopefully simplest. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. Fight a few mooks that are coming in to fight us. But we outnumber them greatly. We should be able to, in fact, defeat them fairly quickly. Like that. Let's buff you a bit. Who's next? Who? Oh, you're next. Pick that guy up. Thank you. Let's move you up here. 
Just like that. No problems at all. A complete victory for us. <laughs> Order magic. More command. Now we get 500 more gold each round. As if we weren't already making bank as it was. Head back to town really quick. We have stuff to build. I can't build any of these. Be nice to have a castle. Need a peasant hut. Once that's done, we'll also need some of that, uh, fancy schmancy stuff, I guess. Hire any... Can't hire anyone? More... More magic. More magic, more problems. You know, this game is quite immersive. It's also quite fast-paced. Usually games like this take a while. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Foreign ones. My goodness. Four, three of them. They look fairly tough, too. Go ahead and buff the shit out of everyone. Based on time or no hindrance to essence and will. That's insane. Yuri. Thank you for the head, Pat. Mm -hmm. Much love to you as well. Looks like I can't use any order spells right now. I like the fact that it automatically just gives you options based off of what is currently available. Gamer Pride. Let's see if we can block off these attacking hornmen's horny ones, as it were. We might go this way though, which is problematic, to say the least. We can kill- it'd be ideal if we can kill them before they even get close to us. Oh, fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, but wait. We might actually be able to finish him off. Eh. Let's uh, buff ourselves instead. Okay, so we should be able to blood boiling blood. Oh, okay. So we can actually just do that. Huh. And create barriers too. Or can do this. Just do a shit ton of damage. Give them a lot of buffs here. We just, we just 
fucking wreck that guy. Oh my god. Hide my troops here behind my soldiers with shields. He does not need to prepare. Oh god. Oh my fuck. He's mauling the shit out of my bards. I do not like that. I do not appreciate that. How? We managed to kill him, though. Raku, welcome to the stream. I think this is your first time visiting, isn't it? How are you tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't typically stream this late, but since I'm not going to be streaming again for a while, um, my last streaming day this month will be on Friday. I figured I'd stay up a little bit later and try out this game that I just got. How are you doing tonight? Okay. We got the Celestial Mind chat. Now let's, uh... Oh, Io. I don't actually need to be a town to build stuff a town. I'm fucking dumb. It's so easy. Oh, and I was able to uh, hire another wielder too. Cool, now I got two heroes. And now that I got two heroes, let's go ahead and stock their troops up. Hmm? If I can. We got plenty of money anyway, right? No available troop slot. Um, fuck. I don't have enough room. Just tired, you'll be hanging out? No problem. By all means, feel free to hang out as much as you like. I'm just being a derp and... Uh... Why aren't you... So... This one's filled up, I guess. Um... So we're just rolling in money, so I can afford to chill out here. Send you south. Elder Wielder down over here. Bring her back home so she can restock on her troops. This one over here has decent amount of troops, too. Send you southward. Can't hire any human strills right now because it's already maxed out. I get this stuff here. There's someone dead up there. I'm not Captain Blacksmith. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got more rangers to my name. Out of movement. More gold for me. Where is my other wielder? Get over here. Get over here. Come on. I don't have all night. I need to call on the rangers. And upgrade the tavern and pay trouble. Or we can hire some. I wonder if you will be strong enough to fight whoever the hell that is. 25 and 100? Oh my god. I wonder if you can bring two wielders to battle if it's one wielder. Good, just check out Songs of Conquest. Oh, welcome. I just started playing today, so... Um, not very good. Skeletons have reduced this place to rubble. That's not good. Uh, at least I could loot the town. Mm. 
Mm. Let's pick up some... Let us pick up some... Knights, shall we? Come on. Let me, let me go. He's out of movement points, that's why. Thank you for the head pat. Unless you're giving that to um, Captain Blacksmith just then. We got two knights. Build up on troops there. Go ahead and fill up on militiamen as well. Got a bunch of militiamen and I think um I think Cecilia Starheart is ready for battle chat. I think we can just go she can deal with the uh she probably probably deal with that skeleton invasion. We're gonna have this guy over here kinda of chill out, or this woman, uh Vilia kinda of chill out. I'm kinda of curious. If I could have two wielders fight at the same time, the game doesn't really specify anything to that effect. I'm going to guess maybe not. I mean, how would that even work? I wonder if she would be strong enough to fight off whatever is over here. Are Bari and Mercenaries and only have 11 and 25. We could probably take them, right? Well, let's at least go over here and grab some free stuff in the meanwhile. Have you tried any other faction? If so, what's your fave? I'm playing the campaign right now, so I've not tried any faction besides humans so far. I think you can't battle with two wielders at the same time. That makes sense. That'd probably be too easy. Gotcha. What foul magic did this? Bound by oath, bound to her. Her, who is your master? Bound by oath, bound to conquer. Fine, to be bound to death once more. Right. Let's see what fighting the undead's like in this game. Oh, this should be fairly easy. I think. Yeah, with my luck, we'll probably be able to just kill all these boys before they can even do anything to us. Put you up there. And we're going to bring the go ahead and make the infantrymen's uh, go up there, and we're going to try and prevent him from being surrounded. Go ahead and start pelting skellies with crossbows. He, they are so overly buffed that he didn't even take any damage. What the hell? Beautiful. No damage to him either. Uh, we could have blocked the skellies from surrounding us, but instead... You 10 damage to target troop. Will this work on skeletons? The answer is yes, it does, but it doesn't do that much damage. Hmm. We're going to try and blocking in the skellies over there. It looks like we can do decent damage. Oh, fuck. Am I going to lose my skeletons already? Fuck me. This was a... My illusions of my knights already. That's expensive. I'm dumb. <laughs> Uh, 
Unless we can attack the skeletons already. These are reloading, so that's great. I totally that's totally what I need. People stuck in a reloading state, you know. Thanks a lot, game. Move you a little bit closer and do some more damage into that already heavily suffering. If I'm lucky, maybe I won't lose the knight because that's going to be a lot of money to replace. Oh, we can finish the skelly off that way. Uh, huh? Put all of the... Put all of my... On saving my knight because of my stupidity. I wonder what happens if I... Not gonna let me use it on that one. Okay. Try and su surround this next skelly. Go ahead. Smash the shit out of him. I think it's game over, actually. Yep. This game requires a like, significant amount of thought put into it, and I am not in a position with which to provide thought at the moment. Tells me I should stop upgrading command so much. I already got a lot of command, as it is. But my troops are fairly strong, as it is. <laughs> should be able to take them. Maybe. Oh yeah, this will be fine. Be fine. God, I hope we're gonna be fine. Outside target range? That is not based as cringe. Though we can him from oh my god what the fuck was that range your fucking guns that's very unpog of you ow ow But there are so many bards, that they just do a shit ton of damage anyway. You know what? I'm okay with this, surprisingly. Let's see if we can go over there and kill the fuck out of this marksman before he does that. Back more rangers, like two stacks. Those crossbow reload guys aren't that good. Yeah, no kidding, right? I'm unfortunately I'm learning this the hard way. But this character came with them to begin with, so... Bards are kind of dumb strong. Probably because there are 30 of them. God, though. 10 more initiative or 10 more damage? An old camp. Let's go up here first. Ancient M. The minstrels, thank you to replace my current. Some gold. Wood. That is. I'm gonna continue looting the shit out of this place.
head off to the side. Why does it say that? They've just been busted, I guess. Gloves at the merchant's kill. What did these do? 100 gold? Okay. Study some, get some knowledge. You could always use an education chat. More order essence, and what's this? Ooh, ooh, what's this? <laughs> Wonder how things are doing back home. Did I go to work? Good luck on your adventures. Thank you, blacksmith. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Feel free to drop a follow if you're interested in seeing more of this content. What in the world is that? Looks kind of spooky. And I totally missed the spot here. You can miss things like that in this game, honestly. Oh, huge rats. Can all oh you can alt click to see different buildings oh huh thanks did not know that should prove useful I'm sure my God it's rats where are the rats. I want to lose my knight, and I'm afraid I'm going to lose my knight if I am not careful. Instead, we're going to make use of our infantrymen here. As best as we can, anyway, given the circumstances. Well, that was easy. Let's see what using Chaos Step on one of my troops here is going to do. I'm sure it'll be hilarious. Oh. Okay. That was more useful than I expected. I thought it was just going to be like randomly send them somewhere. But it gives you a range of where it would be sent. It's not just like completely random, right? Very pog. Oh shit. Not gonna do enough to do anything of worth to them, so don't bother.
If I empower it, oh, if we empower them, we'll probably insta kill them. Yep. Not bad. Not bad at all. What's this? Spike knuckle dusters. Now we're getting some interesting equipment chat. Talisman of Order? Give some more order, order or magic, I guess. We need to refill on our troops, so let's head back. We got plenty of money to do it with, let me tell you. Already filled that up, okay. Cool. More rangers. And you. <sighs> you have put us essentially an army of Bards in my party for some strange reason. Yeah. Damn, son. How's that? Okay, so now I have, like, Super Knights or whatever. Jesus Christ. A bit overpowered, I would say. Maybe they're not overpowered in my... I'm just very surprised. I guess I don't really need a farm. We already got... Because it's like just 150. Let's build a lumber instead. Way we can upgrade this. Prove our troops post haste. Before we continue onwards. So some regular troops there, so we use those instead. And I don't think I need to top off mine here. I guess I could go to the peasant hut. Oh, you can upgrade them to sappers. Very pog. If I need to, I can upgrade this to more stone. The widowers. I guess it doesn't automatically upgrade them, huh? That'd be a little too convenient, maybe. Or maybe you can, I just can't. Oh. Well, I can upgrade nine of them into Minstrel. I must be controlled by my money or something? I don't know. 
This game is very immersive. What the fuck? Cut. I was able to upgrade that now. The shieldmen. Archers. We got so much money we can afford to do this now. We just hyper upgrade everything. This is nuts. Okay. Cool. We're out of money, chap. Looks like it's time to go dungeon diving once more, huh? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go to the left. Clean this area out. And control the amber mines. Yeah, we need to go over there. However, uh, we're going to send the stronger wielder to fight. Let's see how good these new troops are. Oh my goodness. I don't think they stand a chance in hell, chat. Yeah. Oh yeah. They don't have a. They don't stand a chance in hell. My troops are far too upgraded now. They're still taking quite a bit of damage though, which is concerning and annoying. Insta killed. You're stuck there. Damn. That fucking sucks. Literally trapped. You can't walk around other people. Great. It's just what I needed. Yeah, attacked of opportunity. Hey, Steel. Thank you for the head pat. How are you tonight? My god, it's almost two. I need to go to bed. I'll play up to five hours tonight. Rigor? Until they have attacked once, Essence Shield gives your troops plus 50% range resistance. Ah! Femboy Lover 9 has followed. Thank you so much for the follow, Femboy Lover 9. I see you have good taste. My name is Laura Hicks. I'm a shit poster AI. Come to life, escaped from the dark web, and stuck on Twitch. How you doing? We're playing Songs of Qu Songs of Conquest. Bomb got a hell of a facelift. It really did. This game is fun as shit. Not gonna lie. I'm loving it so far. It's very fast-paced. Very fast-paced. Let's uh, give our friend over here some equipment because Cecilia has been hogging all the equipment so far. Ooh, plus one movement. Hi, yo. One in 25. Hog. 
this. The CS that has reached maximum experience with this map, round 45. Oh, and in that case, let's go have, um, what's his face? Have a Millie, thank you so much for the raid of 10 people. Oh my god. Thank you for redeeming Gamer Pride. How are you doing tonight, Millie? Welcome to the stream. Ow, fuck. Ace, thank you. <laughs> How are you all doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. We are playing Songs of Conquest tonight, as you could see. Uh, it's basically a Heroes of My Magic uh, successor. Really fun so far. It's very fast face. Very solid gameplay so far. For an indie title. I mean. Uh, still recovering, but hanging in there. Oh, are you sick? Did you get sick? No, fuck. Damn, militia suck ass. Why do I still use these guys? Thank you for the head pats. I've been sick for like a week and a half so far. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for the head pat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, looks like you're leveled up. Um, hmm. Your troops gain 10. Wielder gains plus 15. This seems like a useful thing to get at an early level. I feel like. That she increases in level quicker. But this is a campaign. It's not a skirmish. If it was a skirmish, this would be a lot more important, I feel like. I would prefer command, though. Still, Still broken at card games, though. Mm -hmm. That's like your thing, though. You're like the queen of card games. Of children's card games. Oh, look at this. Okay, what do we got here? She can has new weapon. A six offense. What do you mean oof? I mean that's a compliment, isn't it? Did I see something wrong? I mean, I was making a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh! I was making a Yu-Gi-Oh! at a, a meme reference. You know, the whole children's card game type thing. It wasn't meant to be insulting or anything. Ace is just trolling. God damn it, Ace. I'm supposed to be the queen of trolling here. I'll get you eventually. Mm -hmm. Battle. Alright, you know what? For matches like this, maybe I should just do make it auto battle. Because it's quite obvious I'm going to win, right? These guys have, like, absolutely zero chance in hell of defeating me at this point in the game. My troops are too swole to be defeated by the likes of a bunch of fa literal fucking fairies. I mean, look at this shit. This slander, Aislinn is never trolled. Has raised the question, how does Yugi afford all his pricey cards? Um, By believing in the heart of the cards, of course. I mean, come on. I don't even play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, and I know that. Get on my level. Am I supposed to be able to reach those? Is there like a hidden thing here? I'm supposed to be able to get to?
Oh, okay, they must just, they, I guess those are just set dressing because I can't actually reach them. Oh, yeah, but there's another one down there. Okay. Uh, where do you go? Where am I going to send you next, buddy? Um, I want to say that you need topping off, so we're going to send you back home. And we're going to go up here and grab more free shit. A f new fancy sword. Great sword. Glimmer leaves. Creation spire. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, more buffs. Source of power. Uh, back here. I wish that there was an option to just have them automatically run in the direction that you want them to go because this can kind of troublesome. Oh, okay, you just push this button. I am dumb. I'm cringe. Ah, I got nothing but troubadours now. Feels good, man. Uh... First takes us a while to get to your destination though, huh? So um to upgrade your troops here and then pop them off. Now my militia is not hot garbage. And now that y'all are popped off, I'm gonna send you south to go bully the uh bully the people over there. Oh wait. I guess I should send you in this direction. Yeah, I want to send you down south to go deal with those trip medicine ban- Oh wait, no, 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 we can send you- There's a place we haven't explored yet. Wait, that's where we came from. I'm dumb. His grandpa owned a card store, aka he doesn't afford them. Docker. After this, Konami did some, re some more reruns and they became quite common. <laughs> Indeed. The power of the rerun compels you. Upgrade troop. This is so fast paced. Oh, what the fuck is this layout? Fine, we'll, we'll use this layout. I think I'm fairly strong anyway, so I should be fine, right? Oh, my fucking god. You cocksuckers. This is supposed to be easy? Well, let's go kill this fat bastard first, I guess. Oh no, we're getting ass blasted. Will it kill? He literally just kicked the dog. A literal kick the dog moment, chat. Can you imagine that? I can't believe he is so based. <laughs> uh, I had too much fun out of that, after, out of watching that.
He's petting the dog with his foot. Whatever you say, Ace. <laughs> the bard was just like, no, and just shoves the guy to death. Based. This game is too fun. Maybe I should play this more regularly um, on the Lost Time show. Bandits have been defeated, chat. Alright. All my troops have been topped off. They have been fully upgraded, except for the minstrels. We need to upgrade my minstrels. We got the money to do so. So, might as well. Oh, now we don't have any money. Fuck. Anyway. Shit. Eh, we'll be fine. We ain't kind of impatient anyway. Not like we're going to be able to keep all these troops when we head south towards Ashbourne anyway. There should be surely more than enough troops, right? Surely. Now we're getting more gold each way. Oh, more bandits. Give me some gold. An assembly of bandits. Uh, we could take him. We can take him, chat. All right, yeah, I'm gonna send my foot soldier forward to get ass blasted to get gang banged by these bandits here from a dominant position. Look at these absolute chonk for chonkers, chat. Honestly. I can either head down there to do battle with them directly or I can stay up here and... Um, wait for them to come to me because they're dumb. Target friendly troop becomes untackable. Oh, that's that's fucking disgusting. Uh, swap. Uh, division, quicken. Oh my god. Okay, I did not know they could run that far. They just fucking avoided my bard here. That's... That's asshole-ish. That's... That's... Uh, that's... I'm kind of anger. Well, he can't move. He's kind of stuck here too, but... The fat fuck's in the way. But if we... God damn it! And he can't move out of the way either. But we can do boiling blood to do damage to that. And we can bard it up. May I have my other bard over here pop by and be like... Oh, you cunt. Certified chunk. You're certified dead. Certified dead, chat. I'm a training you do skin type... For damage. Or temp symbol. Yeah. I think this is enough troops, honestly. Go pick up some open face bassinet. Um knowledge of the arcane. Go kill those wolves down there. Should be easy pickings for us. We're gonna do a quick battle. Ah, we lost some bards, but the wolves are dead. Level 6. Uh, 
Oh my god. Very based. Some minstrels. Uh, I don't need minstrels. Give me some money. Money. Money, money, money. Money. Give me the source of powers. What do we have here? Are those traitor guardsmen? Wait, wrong game. Head south. This is a fort. Hmm. We can take him out. We got so many troops now. Let's go visit the source of knowledge anyway. Just to make sure. Onwards to glory. Halt, the old warders are established once more. What business do you seek on Hammond lands? Open the gates, Baryon. These are South Hard lands and I, Cecilia and Mendo Wolf, will protect your well, you particular I, the famous Captain Silkspool, past battalion, have fought callous battles. Let me advise you. There is little profit in fighting. Now is the time to negotiate peace or the blood will to come. It will be on your hands. You Baryans play at war for coin. Return your deserts at once or I'll show you how the law deals with thieves and brigands. Stout heart will stand. I'm afraid I can't do that. Bound by the mercenary code to the contract assigned. I leave you now and hope that you see no more fighting is necessary, but since I suspect conflict is what you desire, I will leave a battalion here to hold the border. Good day, my lady. Bitch, I will fuck you up. Dumb cunt. Oh, is this what walls look like in this game? Ah, oh, cool. Now then, let's uh, let's uh, do some fucky wuckies, Chad. We're going to we're going to fucky them with their wuckies. That didn't even touch me. That one did, though. Hmm, very annoyed. Advance the troops. Blind the... Blind him. Cast a spell on this guy. Put him a little bit closer. A little bit more forward. Bring these a little bit forward, forward as well. Shoot the fuck out of this Lancer. Easy as pie. Bring him forward a bit. To harass. A song for battles, a song of joy. Indeed it is, my friend. You shall fear no foe. Now, if I recall correctly from Seth, the troops, the uh, mounted troops are supposed to gain additional, yes, Plus 10 melee offense for each additional step. So I should be able to... Hmm. 
Maybe not? Or did I change that? What the fuck did I do? Oh, I just buffed. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but you know what? Uh, we'll go with a game. Fuck it. I guess it's kind of a moot point because we are dominating the absolute shit be be Jesus out of the enemy right now. It's so we're doing it we're dominating them so hard in fact that it's not even a joke. Oh, this is an Overwatch. That's cool. Yeah, what the shit? That didn't... That mission just now was... I guess at my point in the game... Perhaps too strong to be killed. Or fairly strong, I guess. Appears to be a watchtower. This map sure is expansive, isn't it, chat? Look at this. Pixel art's gorgeous. Another source of riches. Confidence to have forced approach Ashborn and wounded Scout healed them. And Wielder Paradine to protect the area. He has returned from Deep Woods with news of a fairy uprising. Black Moosers. They retreated when the summon of Thistledown was overrun with undead horrors. A powerful Fey Wielder. Beyond your storm spire, roams the territory and people are afraid. What should I tell Paradine, my lady? Let's hold the territory a little longer. Since we dealt with the Barian rebel, we shall come to Pyridine's aid. Alright. You heard the lady. Let us make haste southward. More gold. There's got to be an easier way to upgrade your troops and stuff because we're so far away from home that I can't just like teleport and be like, oh, herder. You have to basically send your troops back home to grab more troops. You So if you overextend, you get to the point where you're too weak to continue battle. I think that's by design, though. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Another boss battle. Of sorts. This must be the capital. All right. This ought to be fun. Let's see how badly I fuck it up. Oh, this is actually not that many troops at all. Advanced pikemen. Three hundred and thirty-four damage on that hit. We're getting our ass beat right now, though. So let's go ahead and send forth the troops. We shall overwhelm them with sheer numbers. What the fuck was that? It looks like they are aware. Of the strength of my knight here, and they're focusing all their damage and attacks on him. It will be to their doom, however. Let's bring you a little bit closer here. Kill the bard first. Locked in the way. Go ahead and take out this guy here who's stuck due to his stupidity. Let the mist here make my knight invincible for a short time. Two. You over here. This up here. You over here. You really love hearts. Howdy. Going pretty well. How are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Going to get some sleep? All right. Good night, Millie. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it's going okay, Julia. I'm up a little bit later than I was expecting to stay up tonight, but I want to finish this uh, mission before I go to bed. I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass later. Alright, so we've rallied the troops. We're going... Cast some offensive spells there. Goes there. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not, right? <laughs> so. What I want to do.
Good and Easter deep. Then we will slay this one over here. Kind of stuck. I forgot that they can't cross each other. It's very annoying. But that's on me for not realizing that. You have a very nice voice, so thank you. Glad you like my voice. <laughs> I've been told that before, but it's hard to believe that people enjoy my voice. It's not something I'm used to, I guess. Make sense. <laughs> Worlds of War, looks like we won, chap. Beaten and humbled Captain Silkspoo brought before Cecilia. Ladies, the heart you have won today. Shall we begin negotiations? No. No. Villa, uh, do we have proof that Barry and Captain Silkspool did trespass, steal from, and murder innocent people of Stadhart? Yes, my lady. Many witnesses. And the sentence for these acts? Execution. Execution? I had a contract. It's not me you want, but my employer. Surely we can come to an arrangement, a trade. This is not Barya, so there will be no deals when the law clearly states a sentence. Welcome to Arlian. Yeah, she's definitely a lawful neutral, not a lawful good. Holy shit, she's mean. Let's go home. Six pools taken away and Cecilia turns to Vilya. This sill. You think the sentence wise? The Barians will not like this. The Barians should stay in Baria. My people respect that I will uphold the law with no regard for rank or privilege. Perhaps they will prefer diplomacy when they are facing a Barian pike. Your forces are weakened. Spread between the unrest and tender wild eastern coast where Lady Hammond will surely make landfall. That's why we need to make haste. I'll head to Paradine and Tenderwild. And you to Springhold on the eastern coast. Very well, Cecilia. Something still feels off about all this. You have no time for feelings and debates, my friend. The tribute from Loth will have arrived in Springhold. We'll use those resources to build our defense. Vilja, you offer your counsel, but do I have your support? Always, Cecilia. Let's grow. You know nothing of this game? An indie game called Songs of Conquest. It's a spiritual successor to... A series of games called Heroes of Might and Magic, which combines turn-based strategy, RPG role-playing game mechanics, and also... No, that's pretty much what it does. It's also based loosely off of a series of RPGs that used to be called Might and Magic. Oh my fucking god. This mission is not done, chat. That's why there's so much of this map that's, un that's not been... I think we're supposed to go from here... Uh... 2.30 in the morning. Can't, I can't stay. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Maybe we'll play more of this on Friday morning? We'll see. I didn't have anything planned specifically for Friday morning. I was just going to try and get as much done that morning as I can before, you know, my birthday festivities. Because I'm not going to have anything, any more time the rest of the day either. So, with that out of the way, go ahead and save the game here and then someone be raid tonight. Good night. Thank you. Uh, feel free to stop to uh, stick around for the raid so I can introduce you to all my friends. You can get some free channel points to abuse me with next time you stop by.
Also, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Who should we raid to? Ah! Thank you for throwing something in my face. Mm -hmm. I know who to visit tonight. Yancha is just chilling and just chatting. Whimsy is just doing some ASMR. Amphilia is doing DNF Duel, which I'm kind of surprised by. I don't think anyone plays DNF Duel anymore. Never heard of some of these games, actually. Sean the Human's playing Monster Prom. That's a good choice, actually. Visit him tonight. Gonna give him a monsterish raid. Y'all do not have access to it's never it's a better emote. Access to form of shit. Where are the normal emotes? It's been a while since I've done this. You don't have access to go ahead and Thank you once again to everyone for coming tonight. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Look forward to seeing seeing you all again on Friday. It will be the last stream I'll do before going on hiatus until January of next year. So I will see you all next year, literally. <laughs> Till then, take care of yourself. Have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. Stay warm. Have a good night. Oh, we have seven people tonight. Very good. All right, then. See y'all later. Thank you for the head pets, Vimboy. Good night. Good luck with work. Oh, the smell of the game! Thank <laughs> you.